Hello. Hello, everyone. What's up? Anyone and everyone. Welcome. Today we are playing... Oh, let me adjust this window. Today we are playing Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode for the first time in a long time. Uh, which is probably not a good idea <laughs> because it's the beta of Adventure Mode and I don't know any of the controls. Hey, Alan Smithy, what's up? So excited by Dwarf Fortress. It has my endorphins pumping. Same. Same. It's been a while since I played this game. Probably about a year? Not a little bit longer. I made a new world for a fortress several months ago and then never got into it just because I ended up diving into Legends mode and then not actually playing the game. So, today we're going to try, yeah, the um, adventure mode. See what's up. I've got the controls, what I assume are the controls, in front of me. Uh, someone said, or a video said, or something, that the controls are very similar to what they were in the official release, or not the official release, the pre-Steam um, release. So if... with the only caveat being that not all of these features are updated and implemented in this version of Adventure Mode. So, we'll just see what's there, we'll see what we can do, and we'll, we'll try to embark on an epic quest. Hey, Hishinshin, how's it going? What's up? Also, if at any point um, microphone sounds weird or audio seems out of balance, uh, now would probably be a good time to tell me because I've not played uh, Dwarf Fortress with the actual in-game music or recorded the video with it, so oops. Uh, as far as I know, the controls were the same, but yeah, it's been forever. Okay, cool. But yeah, I did have to switch to my 96% keyboard for this one because supposedly you can move around with arrow keys. But, uh, since my 65% only has arrow keys and not diagonal keys, I was like, how do I move? Because you can't use HJKL, you can't use the Vim inputs. Um, but apparently if you use, like, the number keys at the top of your keyboard, you can then move diagonally. And that doesn't sound like a good time to me, so... You know, <laughs> just make our life easier for a little bit. <laughs> Dwarf Fortress and Caves of Quit are both games that are sort of inscrutable. And Gooey Pliss, I would love to play Caves of Quit as well. I, uh, I sailed the Seven Seas and I found a version of it, uh, and I played for a little bit, but I didn't really get that into it, so maybe it's time for me to actually shell out the, the 17 bucks when it's on sale, or whatever it is, and finally learn how to play it, because that also seems like a ton of fun. Okay, so, uh, just a quick rundown of what's going to happen. Uh, we I, Yesterday I generated, uh, what is this, Slodzgo Xestu, the Universe of Enchantments. Which, interestingly, I think this is a goblin language name for the world. Uh, not a dwarven one, which is the ones that I commonly see. Uh, and when I did check out, not well, I checked the map out at the end of World Gen, and then also hopped into Legends, I saw some interesting stuff. And it looks like uh, dwarf, not dwarven, but goblin fortresses and dark pits are basically they're all over half of the world. Uh, but it's not the Age of Goblins, it's still the Age of Myth, or sorry, the Age of Legends. So, my I, may, I kind of made it my goal to maybe, you know, have our character be the person who hates goblins and hates demons so much that they're going to try to restore the world to balance. And in diving into Legends mode, I found that one of these demons who had existed from the dawn of time uh, was a badass motherfucker who wielded three weapons, a legendary silver axe, battle axe, uh, a legendary steel mace, Interesting in that those two, you know, metals are switched for their best effectiveness on those weapons. And a legendary iron sword, and he killed 601 people, dwarves, elves, what have you, with those three weapons, wielding the three of them at the same time. Uh, so maybe we'll make our goal be to go and find one or all of those weapons, uh, and use them to exact vengeance on the demons and try to bring balance back to the world of, of the universe of enchantments. Hey, Nerdy Derp Tooth, what's up? Caves of Kud, cock. <laughs> it's the most fun I've ever had getting beat in votes so hard and fast. A Goblin Slayer playthrough? Perhaps, let's see. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, of course, first we've got to create our man, our dwarf, our adventurer. And since this was the first, or this will be the first time I'm actually doing this properly, I was kind of hoping that I would be able to choose like the demigod. <laughs> Uh, start so that it would be a little bit easier, but supposedly that's not properly implemented just yet. So, ooh, nice splash screen. So maybe we'll see if the next one up 
that's not normal difficulty is implemented and if that gives us enough you know leeway to to start venturing out caves of hey hey people precisely that was a good video if it wasn't already apparent recently i've gotten lots of my game suggestions or, or things that i play are either from seats videos or in the direction of something that seat might play uh chosen coming soon hero in progress ordinary okay heroes in progress huh uh, I guess we just do Ordinary in that case. Unless, hmm. Also Maxor, yes, Maxor as well. Uh, I think, well, it wasn't Maxor who introduced me to Brigador. I knew about it before, but watching his video convinced me to actually finally buy it and play it. Uh, because that was on the fence for a while. But yes, Brigador is also a good game that would be fun to play. Uh, normal difficulty only affects starting skills and equipment. Ah, okay, so let's do easy for this. So we get some some leeway. Uh, easy, ordinary. For the most freedom, all features are accessible, but you'll receive no direction. Hero, oh, for here, there will be some on initial and ongoing direction. Let's see if this works, and then if it doesn't, we'll just hop back out and um, start again. So please be patient with some strangeness, unavailable menus, and other inconveniences as we push towards the full release. Missing features will come in. Okay. All right, here is our world. I do wish you could zoom in on the world map here. That would be super cool. Okay, ooh, interesting. Badger Man, Blue Jay Man, Cardinal Man, Cheetah Man. I, for the purposes of this playthrough, I kind of want to start as a dwarf. Is these are these the Goblin Pits or are these just normal? Can you start in Goblin Pits? They're not showing up here. <clears throat> Hoary Marmot Man, Hedgehog Man, Hamster Man, Peregrine Falcon Man. That could be cool. <laughs> dwarfs! Yeah, we're probably just gonna ju jump in as a dwarf. Human Crusader, just like every RPG. <laughs> Actually, this is a fun game because if you... You know, you get options like this, right? Like bird people and like cat people and walrus people, for example. Um, and if you pick certain races, such as a walrus person, for example, you actually can swim. You don't have legs, so I think your your mobility on land is somewhat hindered, but you're like an, a legendary swimmer or something by default. Uh, it's very cool. Also, the race of character you choose will influence what kind of armor and weapons you can wear and wield. So, for example, a dwarf needs to have smaller armor than a human, so you'll have to go find that armor out in the world. And if you're like a big gigantic elephant man, you'll need humongous armor that's bigger than even humans uh, can wear. Uh, so, you know, things to keep in mind. Triangle man, triangle man, size of the entire universe man. Raven man. You can be a plump helmet man. Oh man, kind of want to do that. But no, I think dwarf is the way to go for now. And we'll just, for now we'll just go by ourselves without any party. Okay, from Anath O. P. I can't read the the name of that. It would be cool if I could. Uh, should we be Durthulsax, the Empire of Clenching? Ah, yeah, this is like the peaceful part of the world, by the way. So, like, down here is, like, chill. Um, this general area is chill. Everything up in the north over here, there's so many goblin pits and, and like, dark fortresses and stuff, and, like, spire slates and whatnot that have been you know, run over the world. It's kind of wild. The Eternal Confederacies, I suppose, is what this is. The Greater Relic. This is a Dwarven Civilization. I did think the Dwarven Civilizations were wiped out. They weren't. There are three of, or four of them. Uh, Obscure Tools. I believe this is the second one. The Palace of Cooperation is the third one. These guys are completely surrounded by goblins. Uh, but I think maybe it would be a little more interesting if we started somewhere outside of no danger, goblin country, and work our way in uh, and look for, for interesting places to, to go. I think one of these actually dwarven civilizations, the one that is not here, only has one person left. So that's a little bit sad for them. I assume you cannot start as that civilization. But let's start, uh, I guess, at the Greater Relic. Greater Relic is probably safe. You know, they've got all these mountain homes down here. A dwarven hero. 
dwarf. Uh, I don't remember which is male or female, so we'll just go with this one. Oh, right, we can pick our name. Uh, we can pick our name, our background, our skills, our appearance, our personality, our equipment, and our mount and pets. Uh, home. How does okay? How does this keyboard work? I don't remember. Okay, there's a lot of places. Let's start at a mountain home. We can probably just find weapons and armor and stuff like that if we start at a mountain home as opposed to like a, a hillox. You're a clerk in Banner Tomb, a dwarven hillox, and you have never strayed far from home. Yeah, that sounds not cool. Let's find a mountain home. Can I click? I cannot. I cannot just click the map and pick a mountain home. Is all going to be mountain homes? Oh, wait. Can I only start from hillocks? Justice Daggers sounds cool. Pillar Temples. Romance Dukes. Ah, it appears I can only start from hillocks. Okay. Actually, it was... Oh, wait. Web, webbed Ring? Webbed Ring seems like it's in a decently central location. There's interesting stuff around it. This looks like a fortress? Not sure. Some castles, a cathedral or an abbey, some hamlets, and you know we're in a grassland, so it's probably not terrible. Uh, what is our occupation? What have what were we in a previous life before our adventuring spirit uh, took hold of us? Were we miners, woodworkers? Uh, probably a point to make is that a lot of these um, occupations, which normally would endow you with certain skills. Uh, some of those skills are probably not implemented in Adventure Mode just yet. So, I mean, in others you just wouldn't really make use of, like a cheesemaker, for example. Milker. <laughs> you also would not make use of milker. Um, <laughs> uh, cook is also useless, because I don't think you could cook yet. Can you? I'm not sure. Uh, in any case, food shouldn't be a problem. I did see a video from Blind IRL earlier today mentioning that, oops, you can kind of just steal food for the time being without any repercussions, so we might just do that for a little bit. That is so weird. I'm grabbing the center of the thing, and it's like jumping back up. Do you see that? Okay. Uh, beekeeper, mechanics, engineers, pressers, clerks, administrators. So, like, the doctor proficiencies maybe are better if I need to heal myself? I don't even know if I can heal myself. Uh, cloud viewing, environment, combat, movement, items. Uh huh. I'm not sure. Papermaker, bookbinder, you can't make books yet. Lime maker, wood burner. You know what? Maybe we'll just go with doctor for now. I used to be a doctor, and I abandoned my peeps, uh, leaving them to their own devices so that I might kill some gobblos. Some gobblos. Beliefs. Who do I believe in? What is my god? Oh, right. I can also affect or change how uh, devoted I am to my god or to my, my religion, which could be a bonus or a detriment. So if you're more religious, you need to pray more, but I think you get better mood buffs from it. And if you are less religious, you just kind of, you know, you chill out. The Doctrines of Cruelty. You're a dubious worshipper of Nakli Bewitched Board, the human god of misery and torture, and you belong to the Doctrines of Cruelty. Cruelty. Uh, what do I like? Do I like cruelty? The Cult of Confusion. I worship a spider? You know what? That might not actually be a spider. The goddess of twilight and torture. Coven of Learning, the Tax of Gems, the God of Wealth, Fellowship of Hearth, the God of Labor, Crafts, and Metals, Cult of Trading, the Droopy Denomination, Cheryl uh, Umberbrunch, the God of Labor, Crafts, and Metals, the Fellowship of Flutes, the God of Poetry, Writing, the Sun, Fire, Volcanoes, and Mountains, Doctrine of Mushroom, also labored crafts and metals. Who's Imast? Who is this guy? Poetry, writing the sun, fire, volcanoes, and mountains. Oh, okay, this is this guy. Where's the fellowship of feet? That's what I'm saying. How come we didn't get that? 
Imast is, yeah, poetry writing, doctrines of shielding, Akmesh, the goddess of chaos, war, and fortresses. Interesting. Adstong, uh, the god of disease and death. All right. Oh, I see. Okay, so these are like sects, and then these guys are the gods. God of jewels, charcoal sect, neutral creed, god of balance, trade, and wealth. Doctrines of Shielding. Chaos, War, and Fortresses seems good. I feel like it'd be interesting if a doctor, you know, who was sworn to the... What would the Hippocratic Oath be for dwarves? Uh, but they were sworn to that dwarven oath. Decided that they liked Chaos and War and Fortresses instead. Uh, oh god. What kind of name should we have? Fath Logemgubel. Painted Bulbous. Mind Trammeled. Plank Merchant. It doesn't tell you what the first name is, which is a little bit sad. Because all of these names, if you've never played Dwarf Fortress before, all of these names and stuff, all the words have meaning. They're like There's like a built-in Dwarf language and Elf language and Goblin language and stuff. Uh, so your first name actually does not just translate to Rovod. Rovod means something. Uh, which is actually Rovod. It's not showing up. Uh, is it an adjective? Rovod. I don't know what it is. Cool. Maybe later we would find out. Uh, Cog Merchant Plunges. Ral Sect Inks. Oh, can I not change that? What a granite angle. <laughs> Medtop Manor Toes. I like that one. Let's go with that. And that'll just be our name. We're not going to give ourselves a wild uh, additional title. Because right now we're just kind of a dude. We did start... Or, or a chick. Are we a chick? I don't remember if this is female or male. Uh, but anyway, we start... We believe in Akmet. Or sorry, Akmesh. Uh, you are a casual worshipper. I'm a worshipper. Faithful worshipper. Ardent worshipper. Uh, let's just be a worshipper. Accept background. Oh god. Skills. Jesus. <laughs> uh, what do we want? I think it would be cool to be able to read books and stuff. Uh, so let's do, like, linguistic ability. Analytical ability, disease resistance. Disease resistance is good. Maybe a little... How many points do I have? I have 161. Ah, and I can also distribute it across these. Novice reader. What if I bump this up? Doesn't do anything. Oh, these are separate point pools. Okay. Uh, above average, high linguistic ability, why not? Above average disease resistance. Uh, above average social awareness. Above average kinesthetic sense. Musicality, spatial sense, these are good. Music, nah. Average empathy. Creativity, willpower, focus, recuperation, endurance, toughness, agility, strength. Let's go for strength, because I want to give myself also like axe dwarf. So if we ever find that cool axe, that silver axe. Proficient axe dwarf. That's good. Adequate fighter. And then maybe we'll give ourselves like novice armor user and like basic dodging. Adequate dodger. Adequate dodger, adequate armor. Not shield user. Mm, that seems not unsafe, but let me just stick with it for now. Uh, oh god, there's so many things. Uh, novice wound... We're a doctor, right? Let's be a competent wound dresser, competent suture. Whoops, not professional. Competent bone doctor and surgeon and diagnostician. Yeah, let's just make ourselves like an all-around doctor type. Not rec Oh god, I forgot it, how many stats there are in this game for one character. Not cook, not cheese maker, not whatever, not whatever, not whatever. Yeah, most of these are probably not worth much. Uh, besides conversationalist. Let's be a skilled convers- nah, competent conversationalist. That matter. Not a liar, not an intimidator. Novice judge of intent. Sounds cool. I didn't realize how many points this would give me. Honestly, I'm sorry. Uh, above average patience. 
below average intuition, below average creativity, because I think we just kind of want to kill people, basically. Uh, let's do more spatial and kinesthetic. Uh, some toughness, agility, and endurance. Recuperation, mm, that's okay. Uh, and focus. Let's leave the willpower at average. I don't think memory works, because memory defines whether or not you can see things in the map and remember where they are, I think, after you've been there. So we might as well take that down. Uh, give ourselves superior kinesthetic sense. Never mind. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's go with toughness. Then we'll die less easily. Oh, we still got 10 points? Nice. 99 strength, zero everything else, trust me. <laughs> Just walk into an enemy and smash them to dust. Uh, let's dump them into willpower, I suppose. Uh, intuition, then. That's fine. And uh, empathy? No. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, well, I guess we can just dump more points into, like, shield user and stuff like that. Whoops. Adequate shield user, adequate dodger. Competent Dodger, Novice Shield User, Proficient Axe, Dwarf, Talented, Adept, Expert, Professional, nah. Uh, proficient is good. And then maybe Mace Dwarf, because one of these weapons was a mace, right? Competent Mace Dwarf. Not Rider, I don't even know. You, I know you can ride on animals, but I don't know how you get them, besides just starting off with one. Not Liar, not Negotiator, not Persuader. Novice Persuader, why not? Uh... Novice Consoler, that would be cool. I've got the Doctor skills. What's something worthless that we can give to ourselves? Because we have 19 points left. Let's say that I was a Doctor and a Glassmaker. Sometimes that happens. You just get a Dwarf in a Fortress, and they like do stuff that doesn't make any sense. And they build up skills randomly. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I'm a dude. Let's be a chick. Randomize appearance, fully randomized appearance, respecting local populations. Okay, yeah, so I noticed, well, I learned the other day that there's a very basic, like, genetic system in this game as well. So, like, if I randomize with local populations in mind, it give, it keeps generic features of the dwarves that live in that part of the world. Uh, and if you don't, then it just kind of does whatever, which doesn't really look that different. So, perhaps it's still a work in progress. Uh, what do we look like? Do we want to be bald? Can I give myself a beard? I think I can. I like that. She has a broad body. Her extremely narrow, flattened ears are fuse-lobed. Her hair is straight. Her very long hair is arranged in double braids. Her somewhat close slit or her slightly close-set rust eyes are round. Her head is tall. Her ears are somewhat tall. Her hair is buff. What? Her skin is pale pink. A short, sturdy creature fond of drink and industry. Okay. Uh, alright. I'm good with that. Personality. Oh god. <laughs> Full customization coming soon. Change dream goal if possible. What is our dream? She dreams of mastering a skill. Nope. Creating a great work of art. Mastering a skill. Creating a great work. Okay. The skill she wants to master is chopping dwarves and or chopping goblins into 29 perfect cubes. Oh, the stream didn't auto-start. Oh, it didn't? Oops, that's weird. But how you doing, Gapmeister? Welcome. Uh, what about our personality? She's a pessimist. She's generally unhindered by the thoughts of others concerning her actions. That sounds good for a goblin slayer. She has little interest in joking around. She has a tendency towards forming deep emotional bonds with others. Well, that... Okay. She does not often feel lustful. She takes offered help and gifts without feeling particularly grateful. She has a tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications. She occasionally overindulges. She can handle stress. She is brave in the face of imminent danger. She prefers to present herself modestly. It generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. Somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual or live different. Oh, she's a racist. That's cool. She thinks that she tends to think before asking. Uh, let's change that personality. Personally is disgusted by merrymakers. Finds artwork boring. Romance distasteful. Doesn't feel strongly about the law. She dreams of raising a family. Uh, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> you did select Dwarf, that is true. Uh, okay. 
Cause trouble, moderate needs, stay occupied, moderate needs, socialize, uh, fight, argue, be extravagant, uh, be with family, be with friends. Let's try to get rid of be with family and friends, if we can. Raising a family? Nope. Practice skill, martial training. There's probably strong need for martial training. I like that. Stay occupied, be creative. That's okay. Uh, personally believes that martial prowess defines the good character of an individual. Is somewhat put off by trade and commerce, sees no value in holding back complaints and concealing emotions, and views loyalty unfavorably. She dreams of raising a family. I don't think so. She dreams of mastering a skill. She dreams of becoming a legendary warrior. That sounds more like it. Uh, she can be very single-minded, handle stress, avoids crowds, is pleased by her own appearance. Oh, okay. She is moved by art and natural beauty, and she is troubled by this since, she's dis since she dislikes the natural world. Now that's a dwarf right there. She's often nervous, tries to do things correctly each time. She has a notable lack of perseverance. She is quick to anger. That's cool. I like that personality. Uh, respects her to take the time to master skill. Deep respects of her values leisure time, values knowledge, and finds nature somewhat disturbing. Except. Oh god. Equipment. Okay, we start with a copper battle axe. I don't know that I like that. Oh, that's the quality that you can change. Interesting. Okay, let's get rid of that. Iron battle axes are 100 points. What the fuck? I have 1,000 points to spend? Holy shit. That's crazy. Let's just give ourselves a steel battle axe. <laughs> that's like 300 points of it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's worth. That's worth. Finds nature disturbing. Oh, so she's seen a fauna stream? <laughs> Never mind, she hasn't. Alright, we've got socks, we've got leather shoes, we've got a copper buckler. Uh, how many points? 600 points. Okay, let's get rid of the copper buckler. I forgot how this thing works. Iron shield is probably fine. Steel shield is a lot. Iron shield will carry us for a while. Intestines, water skin. Take two water skins in case we need more. Giant barn owl leather backpack. We can inc Oh, that doubles it and that triples it. I see. Small porcupine leather dress. Can we get some armor in here? Uh, helm, probably. Oops. Also... Oh, you can hear that. Okay, yeah, that's my, my this keyboard. Uh, the 96% keyboard. Craft seeds, helm, armor, nope. Iron helm. Why when I did... Interesting. Stell, steel. 300 points, okay. Iron is probably fine. We'll give ourselves one of these. A steel better than silver for battle axes? Absolutely, yes. I think steel is the highest quality, the highest cutting quality item in the game, except for uh, spoiler items. Um, and then, well, and vice versa, silver is the best blunt damage item. Uh, so, like, steel maces are, or sorry, silver maces are better, and, and war hammers are better than, like, steel hammers and things like that. Steel is lighter than silver, but the edge will be better. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> Get some fishnet stockings. I, we can. We might be able to get some stockings. No stockings. Sock. Can we get long socks? No. Uh, what have we got? We've got iron helm, iron shield, iron breastplate. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to go out looking for weapons with this. Uh, gonna have to buy human-sized socks. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, all of these are like default dwarven size, because they're small. Small sheep leather trousers. And breastplate, since I've got the shield. Do I need to worry about my arms, is the question. Greaves. Oh, greaves are for the shins. Boots. Iron low boot. Where would I even have gotten these things from? Uh, we need more food, I feel like. Start with 10 food. Uh, meat. 
fish, plants. Can I go to meat? Yeah, we want prepared. Prepared wolverine intestines. Is this all? No, okay. I was going to say, is this all we have access to? But we have a bunch of stuff. Prepared cow eye. Prepared reindeer heart. Prepared reindeer brain. Let's get some prions going on. I like prions. Good morning, Dwarf Fortress. Hey, Jack of Blades. Welcome. Uh, are you part of a civilization or an outsider? I'm part of a civilization. Uh, I already forgot the name. Uh, but we started a little bit further away from the actual mess of goblins. So we're going to work our way over there gradually. Uh, and see if somehow we can't build up our, our goblin slaying prowess along the way. Uh, alligator heart, alligator lungs, alligator brain. Alligator lung seems cool. Ten. All right, let's just give ourselves 30 meals. Maybe that'll be enough. If it's not, we'll just steal some from wherever they happen to be. Small floating guts leather shoe. What does that mean? Also, can I even wear shoes and boots at the same time? I don't think I... Mm -hmm. We'll find out. I wonder when Toadie's going to implement nutrition so you need to eat liver regularly or die of vitamin A deficiency. Floating guts are a cavern creature. Oh, okay, I see. Completely with night blindness as your eyes break. That would be cool. That would be fun. Okay, so that's meat. Gotta click so that I don't forget that. Uh, we can just start with blocks. We can start with toys and instruments. I could start with a barrel of, like, dwarven wine, I guess. That's probably not the greatest idea. Uh, some wine is good, though. As long as we have enough to, you know, remain delirious, we should be safe on this journey, I think. Cloth, cloth, leather, cool. Yeah, I think basically we just want... Uh, what have we got? Shield, boots, gloves. Why don't we go with... Uh, what, is it, what are the arm things called again? Not greaves. Um, g -g -g Bracer? Not bracers. Gauntlets. Give me one of those. <clears throat> You'll have to carry a barrel right, though. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out if the, that uh, 10 wine has to be in a barrel or not. I have to wait. 10 wine is... Wait, maybe this is, like, way too much. Let's knock these down to five each. If it is a barrel, then too bad. And we got breastplate. Yeah, we'll... let's get greaves anyway. Uh, we've got everything else, right? The rest of our attire. So we might as well be decked out if we can be. Backpack. Some water skins. I can't really think of what else would be useful to have. Won't be a huge deal since you can just drop it before combat. True. That's true. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that would be good to have. And we've got 435 points remaining for pets. Uh, since it's the first time, I'm not going to grab a pet. Unless. A horse is only 100 points. Let's do it. Why not? Dodok block enchant block blockade chanted. Excuse me. Uh, let's randomize that. A tier long wheels. I like that. That seems like a, f a good name for a horse. <laughs> what what are horse legs but long wheels after all? Are hunting dogs an option in adventure? I probably. I think they are. Yeah, you can even get hunting elephants. Actually, Jesus. Okay. So yeah, hunting dog, thirty one points. Uh, I can get 10 hunting dogs if I so desired. <laughs> the problem would be keeping them fed, obviously. Uh, so maybe, maybe not. I wonder. Does our... I guess our civilization doesn't hasn't tamed dragons, otherwise they would show up here, right? Okay, I have to make a note next time, if I play fortress mode in this world, to try and tame a dragon, or like a, a fucking, you know, forgotten beast. And see if I can then jump into adventure mode and grab a dragon. They mature in 1,000 years. 
Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, you know, they'll still be able to kill things. Like, Dragonfire is pretty strong. They're limited by world gen normally. Oh, okay. So I'll just wait for half an hour or two hours for the world to, to, to work itself out. And then spend a thousand points on a dragon. <clears throat> Can only tame babies. Yeah, exactly. So they have to be babies. Okay. Medob Deduk Deduknin, Medtob Manertoes, and Atir Longwheels, the trusty horse, are ready to adventure. Uh, adventure awaits. We're going to start here at the name of this place that I already forgot the name of in the civilization that I already forgot the name of. Uh, and we're going to venture north. I think venturing north is the way to go. We could also go east. Either way, we'd eventually run into goblin pits, I believe. Or, like, ruined fortresses and stuff and, and pick up some some sort of adventure. Uh, if I don't die of heat stroke, because I think this area of the world is actually quite warm. A really fun mega beast would be a rock. Imagine riding a rock and they mature in 20. That's not so bad. Yeah, okay. If you could capture and breed rocks. Let's go. All right, here we are. Uh, okay, there's the music. I was wondering if it was going to start playing or not. But again, let me know if the music is weird volume. <clears throat> you finally got your equipment together, such as it is. Now it's time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you were going to go. <laughs> A foolhardy soul might try to rescue the children that have been kidnapped. Perhaps some of your friends here have ideas. Oh, cool. Kidnapped children, so... Uh, oh, let me actually... Okay, if my... What's down here? So there are menus down here behind uh, Nemuri on the left. It might be prudent for me to rearrange things like the chat and uh, me or Nemuri so that things are more visible so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so let me play for like five minutes and see if there is a better spot along the bottom here where I can place things. Uh, so anyway, kidnapped children, we might be able to save them. Wow, look at us. We're all decked out, but like, we can do nothing, probably. Nobody might be able to fit in the character art rectangle, do you think, actually? Hold up. Let's see. Oops. My shoulders! Oh god. Eh. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> He's so small. Alright, can I hmm, can I put a filter behind her? No. Maybe that's that's enough. <laughs> Alright, I'm down here at the bottom left of your screen. See be <laughs> see memory bobbing up and down as we as we set out for adventure. <laughs> it would be a little bit less jarring if I could put like a background in there. Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's add a background. A uh, color color source. Let's see. Memory BGDF. There we go. Oh Jesus! Shrink. Uh, width. Whatever. This is a square. I want square. And let's pick color. Pick screen color. From right here. Okay? Okay? Let's make you a little bigger. Oh god. Everything is gonna like snap to everything else and it's not gonna- No, there we go, there we go, there we go. Please, on top. Perfect! Alright, now we're in business. Hey Rocket Cat, what's up? Didn't get a notification. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you making a game? I am not making a game. I am in the game. Also, I should move this uh, to the top, perhaps. Adventuring is fun. But we are playing a game. We are playing Dwarf Fortress. Uh, we are playing Adventure Mode, to be exact. So we only took 40 minutes to set up our character, which is not bad, all things considered. In CDDA, we took way longer. Um, I don't- can you even tell that, like, Nemory's bobbing up and down in the corner over there? <laughs> like... Okay. Uh, first things first, how do I move? Numpad. 
Oh. Oh, I talked to somebody. Oops. The Gelder Ushrir Gusilkudid pets a tear. You pet my horse. How nice of you. Oh god, everybody's like talking. I see. <laughs> the whole box is the game. No, yeah, I'm just inside a building. Or inside like a, a little dwarven pit or something. Okay, the game asked me, well, told me that there are missing children nearby, so perhaps I can save these missing children uh, by talking to people first to find out some information. So what is the farmer, or the milker pets, or the milker says, Greetings, my name is Asmal Powerhall. Uh, Godin Thobstikel to the mason, another two people. Greetings, my name is Godin Girderhoods. I am separated, this is a child, the dwarven child, Lorban Gesektulon. I am separated from Mo Momu's silver gears. I cannot give in to sadness. <laughs> Things a child says. All right. Ah, this guy, Ushir, speaks to me. After petting a tear, my name is Ushir Copper Uttered. Cop, cop, copper Uttered. Yes, that's right. Okay. One of the weirdest things about this game is that NPC's entire existence is just loitering inside buildings, right? Generally with their animals. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of how it is. The dwarven child, Lorbam Gisek Gisek Tulan begins playing make-believe. The farmer, Godin Thopsikil, stands up. Okay, what happens if I move? I moved. Nice. Can I talk to somebody? How do I tell who is who? Oh, you can just click to move. Okay, that's actually... Well, I could have kept the keyboard, but whatever. We're here now. Uh, what do I press? I for inventory. I've got five dwarven wine in my right hand. It is a stack of five dwarven wine. Is it just, like, in my glove or something? Eat or drink this item. Throw the dwarven wine. I would rather not. I wonder if sieves in adventure mode and fortress, now that I think about it, will grow and expand like another player is playing them. I think they... did they not before in adventure mode? Because in, 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 in fortress mode, they do, I believe. Like, you get messages like, oh, you know, while you're playing somebody, or your civilization has established an outpost nearby, or like a hillox nearby. And they're looking to link up with you for trade or something like that. I've got my food, my prepared reindeer brain. It is in my bag, I suppose, and not in my hand. <coughs> Riras, Riras Zeneg, 250 gold coins. Okay, Riras Zeneg must be our civilization. The name of which I cannot remember in plain English. Remove this item, remove this item, remove this item, drop this item. Eat or drink this item. I can eat an iron shield. Or do they? You haven't played much in the latest version. I think they do. Uh, but again, this was like a year ago. So if, if you just mean Steam version, it might be a Steam version update thing. I don't know if it's something they introduced with like the villains and, um, <clears throat> and plot lines update or not. Take his livestock and then Fortnite dance on him. The goblins there, yes, and I've killed zero goblins so far. Uh, but yeah, since you just got here, Rocket Cat. So the one of the things that Dwarf Fortress is more than than a game is kind of um, a fantasy world simulator or generator. So there's actually another version, or not another version, another game mode you can go into called Legends mode, where after you've generated a world with however many years of history you so desire, you can look at the people who lived in the world, the battles, the battles that went on, the civilizations that were there. Uh, artifacts of great renown and things like that and kind of see how you know events have played out uh, so what i did find out was that in this world uh, let me see is there a map i can look at uh time weather travel keys m display the map sorry m is to move okay that's not what the controls are on this web page oh that's for travel keys okay open movement preferences fast travel I can't travel until I emerge from underground or enter a tunnel. Can I look around? I cannot. Oops. Oops. I don't know what I did. Escape. Oh, okay, well here's a map. Can I look around? Perhaps? I can't. 
Um, but at least this gives me an idea of where some things are. So in any case, I'm in this like tiny little spot, which is impossible to see, but I'm trying to poke at it with Iris over here. Um, yeah, I'm in some little town, a little hillocks, dwarven equivalent of a town. Uh, and there's so many things out in the world to look for. I know that very far north there are a bunch of goblins, because when I looked at the map, when the world was being generated, uh, the whole half, the whole northern half of the world basically is full of dark, dark goblin pits and do goblin fortresses and stuff like that. How do I get out of this menu? How do, how do I leave? And to travel. D. Okay. It would be good to have seen that. Uh, and I did notice in looking through the, the legends that there is some legendary weapons that exist in the world. Um, a trio of legendary weapons, actually, that were wielded by a demon from the beginning of time who was murdered at some point. And so my headcanon is that this dwarf doctor, now a turned adventurer that we've created for ourselves, whose name I forgot, Medtob something toes, <laughs> um, is going to go out and call the goblin population so that dwarves can peacefully live in the northern half of the world again. Um, specifically by finding one of those legendary artifacts, you know, to like bring balance to the world by slaying them with the, the weapons that their leader once used. Uh, anyway, that's the eventual goal. Uh, travel is T, sleep or wait a while, B, B, build. Coming soon. Okay. Iris is in the game? I mean, she's my mouse cursor. So, in a sense, yes. But otherwise, no. Click to go prone. I lie on the ground. I stand up. Oh, that means that, like, this guy over here is prone on the floor underneath that dude. What does this button do? I strap the steel battle axe to my upper body. I strap the iron shield to my upper body. Oh, okay. What is this? I assume a submissive posture. I no longer assume a submissive posture. This is probably ranged attack. I have nothing to fire. Oh, this must be wrestle. Oh, does wrestle not work? This is to attack, probably. Use ability coming soon. Craft or butcher. Oh! Strike or wrestle is A. W is continue active wrestling. Use regular combat to continue wrestling. Okay. F is fire. X is to craft or butcher. P is to... S okay, performance. K is to talk. Jump is J. Climb is H. Search for bugs. <laughs> oh. Wait, okay. I thought this meant, like, bug reports, but it's actual insects. I found some small creatures. Can you mod a VTuber? Probably. I mean, you can mod this game. I wouldn't say easily, but you can mod this game. There's a lot of them. So you, there's probably like VTuber mods where they could be like deities or legendary people in your world. <laughs> you submissive posture. I found some bugs. And what is this? Uh, G, interact with nearby objects. Okay. <clears throat> Combat option C, toggle sneaking, capital S. Oh, capital C, capital S. Movement is M. Can I... Horse walk stroll creep. Visual stealth without skill is fantastic. S swimming preference when possible, when necessary. Let's go in when necessary. Otherwise, I'll probably drown. Inventory I. My log is Q. Okay, so that doesn't work. My status is Z. I'm 78 years old. That's cool. View my companions and tactical settings. Myself and my horse. View all announcements. Okay. I think that's everything I need. So for now, we're in here just chilling. Uh, can I move without seeing announcements? How do I go up and down? I think it's... Alt is move carefully. Shift is move direction and upwards. So let's move up these stairs. That didn't work. Uh, okay, let's ascend. Oh, wait. Uh, shift 5. Numlock off. Hello? Ascend? Descend? Ah! I see. Okay. It was it was using arrows, not num numlock. Okay, we are now above ground. We have made progress. Okay, people are just talking to each other and chilling about. How do I look? Uh, I, D, drop, G, grab, gather. L is interact? 
So many things are happening. So many people are talking. Eyes, inventory. Oh, capital I is interact. Z status. K is to start a conversation. Shout out to everybody. Okay, well, I'm here. Let's actually go downstairs. Oh, control down. Yeah, let's talk to somebody. Oh god, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Continue my conversation with the Gelder who spoke to me first. Okay, the Gelder says greetings. My name is Ushrir Copper Uttered. The Gelder Ushrir Copper Utters. When can we start invasions? That's a good question. I wonder how many companions you can have. Uh, what will I say? Bypass greeting. Reply to greeting. Keywords hello, greet, reply. Refuse conversation. <laughs> refuse no. Uh, reply to greeting as an impersonation or never mind. Let's say hello. It is good to see you. Uh, what does he say? There are times when it is best to keep my feelings to myself. I think. But I wouldn't want to force it. Okay. I want to keep talking to you, actually. Uh, towards me, he's a neutral attitude. Impatient conf... Bro, you started talking to me. How are you impatient? Uh, agree completely? I don't know about that one. Acquiesce. Changes my values. Argue the values of Stoicism, not my values. Argue the worthlessness of Stoicism. Flatter the listener, dismiss their argument, respond passively. Change the subject. Let's change the subject. Uh, I want incident rumor tell. Ask how listener is feeling. Ask for directions. Ask about somebody. Ask about the local ruler. Trade or settle debts. Okay, a bunch of stuff is not here. Investigate. Oh my god. This, <laughs> there's so many things. Ask about the surrounding area. You know, we don't know much about the area, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, I don't know what you said, so I'm going to escape and then continue and then see what you said. Tell me about this area. The Gelder says, Blossom Trampled is in the sunny fields of counseling. Sparrow Sculpt began, the goblin is there. There's a goblin here? I don't like that. Uh, ask about specific incident. Ask about somebody. E. Ask about Sporo. Ask about the rock Mata Power Rain, the esteemed jewels. Oh my god. Sporo, goblin. Goblin, Sporo, sculpt. Began. Tell me where he is. There's so many people. Are there really this many people in this town? I can't scroll down. Cool. <laughs> okay, well, the dwarf, the dwarf, the human, the human, backs spider moth. That doesn't sound cool. Uh, who else can I ask about? I can ask about Ebno, who was the, the, the guy, the demon from the beginning of time. See if anybody knows about Ebno. I know about Ebno, but maybe this just means that nobody here knows about them. I can ask about myself. So we have established a foot harem. Uh, we can we can try to establish one. The Marsh Titan. Well, there's a Marsh Titan. Let's see what this is all about. Endless Nature Teal of the Coastal. A. Enter. A. There's so many people. Everyone's going to be talking over each other. Uh, he is a dangerous animal. Wow, thanks for that. <laughs> cool. Now, uh, ask about specific incident. The rumor of the abduction of sexual steak virtue. Oh, wow, that's a lot of abductions. There's like four kids that have been abducted. Spread rumor of Tessum Yellowslop, the climax of adventure's presence in Narrow Crack, the weird of blankets. Also, yeah, this game is very interesting in how it generates things like titles and place names and basically everything. Um, that's not a standard name. So they're going to be weird names like this all over the place. Uh, spread rumor of the Glad Wheels' presence in Scald Fancy. I don't know where that is. I don't know what, where Start Quick is. Tangled Flink. Uh, let's ask, or wait, spread rumor. Uh, what will I say about the incident? I want to ask about it. I don't want to spread rumors. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's find. Abduction rumor. 
Uh, our people have been tormented by a fearsome foe. Narrow crack the weirdo blankets is in the rumored horn. Seek this place if you hunt... What? Oh, another guy. If you hunt, Tessum yell stop the climax of adventures, the giant. Knowing no mercy, Tessum stole a mongoose bone ring. Oh my god, I can't believe it. This vile fiend has even killed eight in his lust for murder. Ha ha ha, you're funny. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep petting my horse. That's nice of them. The Gelder says it is terrifying about the abduction. Let's continue speaking to him. Ask for the whereabouts of the giant. Ask for directions to Narrow Crack. Wait, who's the guy that stole the kids? Uh, no, nobody. Well, that guy stole a ring, but he didn't steal the kids. State an opinion that it must be stopped with violent force. What does he say? This must be stopped by any means at our disposal. He doesn't say anything. Cool. I have awakened my murder lust. Oh, for sure. We're going to kill some goblins at some point. Satan opinion that it was inevitable, that it is terrifying. Uh, that it must be stopped with violence. That it is terrific. I don't think it's terrific. Uh, ask for whereabouts of the giant or ask for directions to narrow crack. Let's ask for directions to the giant. Because if it's a regular giant, that probably means I can kill it with an axe. Eventually. And the elves said, are you going to eat that? I concur. You're so perceptive. Uh, narrow crack, the weird blankets, is in the rumored horn. Oh, wait, you probably said that already. Where the hell is the rumored horn? Where's my map? Uh, travel. View the map. The sunny fields of counseling in the land of chopping. Oh, I can ask him for directions, probably, to the rumored horn. I think that's what it was called. D? Can we rule them? The goblins? Probably? Uh, actually, I mean, I don't know if you can do it in this version of the game quite yet. Because, so, one thing that this game does have in the base game is, like, networks of intrigue and stuff like that. Intrigue actors. Where you can kind of, like, pull strings and influence people. Um, I think you can, like, sort of intimidate folks and, and tell people to, or suggest that people do things that you want. Why is there new music? Hold up. Uh, audio, average seconds between tracks. Let's take that down to 60. Uh, return to game, and we'll see if the music starts. Um, so you can like influence how people act towards each other, and you make them do things for you. Uh, so it's possible. I don't know if you can do it just yet, but that at some point... Ooh, a slug! I want that. Give me. Oh, it disappeared. Um, but yeah, at some point, I think you might be able to do things like usurp thrones and stuff. In old, old versions of Adventure Mode, like six, seven years old versions, if not older, you could definitely do that. You could just like walk up to the king, kill him or something, and then convince other people that you're the king. That's actually one of Seath's stories in one of his videos. He said, oh yeah, I turned into a vampire, I murdered the king, I told people that I murdered the king, and they told me I was full of shit. Um, so, you know, you can you can do things. Okay, continue my conversation. I need I need directions. Tell me where Narrow Crack lives. Or sorry, the directions to Single Wire, Tangled Flank, Class Spattered, Start Quick, Scald Fancy for Oh god, what was this place that we were looking for? Narrow Crack, the weird of blankets. Okay, well, test some yell stop. Oh, okay, is in the rumored horn. Uh, okay, hurricane. Wow, bronze colossus. Fuck that. Oh god, is he in the rumored horn? That sucks. Uh, directions to blossom trampled. I don't need that. This. Or. Uh. Can you tell me the way to Narrow Crack the Weird of Blankets? Narrow Crack the Weird of Blankets is half a day's travel to the east. Great. You receive a detailed description. In 152, Lickot Urnfist, Urn, Urn first was struck down by the giant uh, in Narrow Crack the Weird of Blankets. Wait. Oh. Wait. What? Oh, okay. Yell Sop is the giant. Tessim Yell Sop is the giant. Narrow Crack is the place. Okay, now if I look at this map. 
Uh, half a day's journey. Oh god, it's like, where the fuck could this possibly be? All I know is that it's to the east. That's cool. Um, <laughs> it said detailed directions, but that doesn't seem super detailed. Freshwater marsh. Dwarven camp. Dwarven camp. Voice stockade. Oh god. Mm. Oh hey, that's bad. Wilderness, and we've got a goblin tower and a human tower. The amazing keys. Stopped creed, circle standard, channeled snarls, goblin hillocks. Not cool. Sword carried, hillocks. Dwarven hillocks. Alright, well, we know we can go east, so that's the eventual goal for now. Uh, D. Where's my horse? How do I tell you to go upstairs with me? Or can I ride my horse? How do I ride my horse? Stand or lie down, movement and sneak settings. Maybe this is why I wasn't fond of Adventure Mode, because last time I played, uh, every time I move, someone would speak. Is there a way to toggle this? <laughs> Probably not, uh, so we'll just keep chilling. Oh, am I s like, sitting down? Oh, I pressed S, so I was on the ground. Wait, I need my horse, though. Hey, you, horse. Chat to everybody. Found this item, build an item, move an item, grab. The dead can't speak, just kill them all. I could, but that would probably be not the greatest. Uh, make a campfire, make a campfire, get silty clay. No, I don't want to do any of that. Climb or hold terrain. Ah, there we go. Mount a tier, run my call, lead a tier, run my call. Let's lead him and let's go upstairs. Wait, what was that? Something about ghosts? So the leopard geckos and the steam ghosts. Okay, you guys are just talking about random whatever. Uh, okay. Wait, capital... Control shift? No, control Z. I don't know. I don't know what any of these things do. Control A? A. Announcements. Z is me. S is to sneak. D is to drop, F is to fire, W is to wear, Q is to draw my stuff and then put it away. I do not have a free grasp for the iron shield. Interesting. R is remove, T is throw, Y is assume a submissive posture. What does the U do? U does nothing. Yeah, how do I zoom out? Is it possible to zoom out? Also, where is my music? So Dwarven Hillocks, it looks like they just chill out in a hole in the ground, supposedly. Oh, there's also no minimap. So a minimap, I think, is one of the things that they're planning on introducing at some point in time. Ah, okay, so now offloading site. Oh, okay, we, we're fast traveling now, is what we're doing. Oh, hey, this is, like, bigger than I thought it was going to be. Can I just, like, look around? Uh, let's end this. Oh god, where am I? <laughs> I don't know where I am, there's no map. Let's see what's happening over here. The miller is talking to someone. Oh god. This is gonna happen every time I like get to a new place, isn't it? What do I want to do? Pick bitter melon leaf, pick spinach leaf. Pick the spinach leaf. What do I want to eat? I want to eat my spinach leaf, actually. I eat the red spinach leaf. Did I fall? No, I just walked. Okay. Oh, 
There's a door over here. Hello? Hello, can I speak to you? Can you tell me about the goings-on? The surgeon, whatever. I'm well. I've been alright. These guys have nothing. Like, start a new conversation. <laughs> Rude listener. Hello. What does he say to me? He doesn't say anything. Continue my conversation. Uh, how are you feeling? Inquire about any troubles? How have things been? Da -da -da -da. Is he ignoring me? He's ignoring me, isn't he? That's rude. Spread rumor of the abduction. Several years ago, Saxel Stakeford, she was kidnapped from Web Ringed by Bax Spider Moth. Oh, wait, Bax is a. Is that the dwarf? Or that's the, the goblin. Wait, hold up. We can kill that guy. We should kill him and, like, save the kid. He just, like, does not want to speak with me. How are you feeling? He does not care. Actually, wait. Is there a way that I can, like, examine these people? Uh, interact with... Da -da 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 -da. Talk to somebody. L? Look around. I guess I can't just L look around just yet. Unless, wait. What do I want to do? Ah, view. Okay. View the surgeon. View the carpenter. Oh, I could just click. Okay, okay, okay. Bone doctor. Who the heck was I talking to even? Akmesh? Herbalist. Attack. Combat. Asked your blacksmith Lorbam Eral. Who in the hell? Who was I talking to? Okay, maybe I was talking to someone who's like not in this room. Anyway, let's go. Uh, a tear, my faithful steed. And let's go south. Because it seems like there's a building or a mound of dirt over here somewhere. There's a hole in the ground, that's for sure. I can't believe this. Dwarves just live in a hole in the ground until, like, they come to your fortress. Oh god, there's so many people. The herbalist has become enraged. Uh-oh. What happens if I just wait? Some children are playing make-believe. Oh, he, did he, like, move me out of the way? Uh, can I continue? I cannot continue. Whoever that person was, they're not here. Anyway, we want to go east. Didn't realize I was six minutes behind. Oh, no, are you really? Did I not turn off the um, that setting on YouTube? I usually do. Oh, I didn't enable auto start. Okay, that's my bad. Oops. Ah, uh, that's my mistake. So it didn't start for you because it didn't start the auto start. You refreshed. Ah, I see. But yeah, I also usually turn off DVR, which is the thing that like lets you go back or be not caught up with the stream. So the fact that it's still doing that is I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just YouTube being weird because they've been. It's been weird recently. Uh, just kidding. I actually want to talk to somebody down here. Let's shout out to everybody. Hello. I say, hello, Cog. Did he say it's good to see me? Where's Akmesh? Greet, hello. My name is Medtob Manertos. They're petting my horse. That's cute. Oh, wait, I could just enter? Uh, okay, nobody... Oh, continue conversation. I heard a, a kid got kidnapped. Continue conversation. I don't know where this guy is. Never mind. I'm leaving. <laughs> We're going back out. They love petting my horse. So how many wives do we currently have? Currently none. 
Oh, I'm prone on the floor also. Hello, a tear. Okay. So, as far as we know, there is... Wait, what is this? The land of learning, the land of chopping, or the hill of learning is a human hamlet. Oh, interesting. Maybe by listening to, like, snippets of conversation, I learn about things that are outside of my, my current knowledge sphere. That's kind of cool. Uh, but they said east, right? East is right. Like, the direction. It's it's to the right. So we need to go find the thing of thing. The name of which I already forgot. Uh, we don't have a quest log, do we? <laughs> This is the northeast, west, south, east, southeast, Monastery of Palisir, Hammer Age, or far to the southwest, Lance Notch, or far to the west, Fern Spoles to the south, Webbed Ring, or a short walk to the northeast. Oh my god, I don't know what any of these buttons do. It's going to take a while. I'm so tempted to, like... Okay, shift C is to sleep or wait, not to zoom out. There must be, like, a dude inside this... There are people inside this thing. This mound of dirt. Where they live with no utensils and no items. I didn't see a door, though, so maybe not. Uh, no, that's K. Is there a movement? Travel keys, visit... Can I, like, run? Jump, sprint, and movement options to run and jump. Wait for one instant. Oh, they're just dudes, like, chilling here on top of the, the place. Hey, you want to talk? Hey, sir? Sir? Akmesh, hello? Who are you? You're not Akmesh, are you? A high-voiced monk. Oh, they're monks. Can I talk to you? Start a new conversation with the monk. Hello. Hello, I'm Moldath Muscle Glove. That's a cool name. Praise be to Cheryl Umberbrunch. Cool. Can I continue my talk with you, Mr. Monk? Ask listener why they're traveling. I'm just out for a stroll. Okay. Uh, continue. Bring up specific incident. He didn't want to talk about it. Okay. I'm gonna be real. Where's the music at? Like, excuse me? <laughs> music volume zero. Turn to game. Settings. Audio. Music volume. 80%. Done. Turn to game. Hmm, maybe the music also doesn't work. Maybe the music is like a feature or a bug. Sorry. Uh, what can I... Let's play our own music. I'm going to play the music that I usually play. All right, doing a quick record. That's not the music I usually play. <laughs> that's, that's me, actually. Where's the music I usually play? Open. Also, how does the... the what is this thing? The audio sound, by the way, the microphone. All right, this is our adventuring music. <laughs> this isn't good adventuring music. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a good idea. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, wait, so did you hear my voice when it like played and it was not me talking actively? Because my uh, suggestion... Uh -huh, mm -hmm, music class is to... Sounds crisp, nice. Let's see, will this go through? It does not come through. Alright, out of safety, I'm gonna loop this. Uh, how do I do this? <clears throat> oh, I know how to do this. There, you can hear that, right? I heart ASMR when, uh, if ever, not for a long time. 
anyway, this should be, I think, at a good volume. This is the classic Dwarf Fortress uh, fortress mode music. Uh, and it's been a long time since I've listened to this music for 10 hours a day while playing the game. And you don't get to hear this music anymore. You hear the updated version and versions of new... Or not new soundtracks, but fan-made soundtracks in the official Dwarf Fortress release when you play Fortress mode. Uh, the muscular monk has become enraged. Well, that's cool. And also not my problem. So this is our... I'm, like, defaulting. My brain is defaulting to the CDDA controls, like pressing B, Y, and whatever to move. Okay, hold up. Did you just... Okay, never mind. I thought one of the little notifications said something like the music track just changed. But it's some good. What did that say? The dwarven child Nish Sigun Rash is playing make believe. I don't know where that... Oh. Hello. Child. Can I speak to you? Uh, wait. Who are you? Can I speak to you? Nish Sigun Rash. How old are you? Can I speak to you? Let me speak to you. You the dwarven child. You were two years old. Never mind. Stand up. Music may be too loud, it's overpowering. Oh, is it really? Wait, oh, hold on a second. Interesting. Was it double playing, by the way, just now? Like, was, was there double audio there? Ah, I see what's going on here. Okay. Let me turn you down. <clears throat> Maybe it should be okay now. <laughs> yeah, let me know if it's okay. I, I turned it down a bit to where the music normally is when I'm playing the normal drawing background music. I think what happened is that it was capturing both desktop audio and game audio. Or, uh, not game audio, but Firefox audio. Anyhow, let's uh, continue. Where the hell are we going? We're trying to look for that place, the name, which I cannot remember any longer. Hit a high note to make sure. No, thank you. Hello! Hi, Ryder. What's up? How's it going? We're learning... Well, I am learning uh, Adventure Mode. Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. And try to figure out where a east is to the right, yeah, okay. Where a giant lives to try and, and deal with them. Could it be this place? It is! Oh, okay, that's the cave. That's where they are. This is common knowledge where I'm from. That's where the giant lives. Okay, so before actually we killed the giant, since now we know where it is, let's try to... Uh, get me out of here. Let's go back to where we started and ask about that dwarf... Or not that dwarf, the goblin man who supposedly is around here. And actually, let me change this. There we go. Uh, the goblin who ap apparently abducted somebody, I think. Where are we at? Oh, we were right here. Let's travel there. D. D. Actually, I wanna, what is this? can't look. Well, I have to click to look, I suppose. Mudstone Statue of Shazak Bridge Diamonds. Or, Shazak Bridge Diamond. Did you write it down? We don't have the quest log yet. I did not. <laughs> but I remember the name once I saw it on the map. So, we're... We're in alright condition here. Hello, I know you guys are living underground, but I need to ask you questions about a child who was abducted recently. Uh, okay, cool. Someone, 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 something, something, something. Who do I want to start a conversation with? Tossid, you're a farmer. You probably live around here. Tossid. Dang it. That's not where Tossid is. Tossid is on this tile. Tossid, 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 view. Start a new conversation with the farmer. Hello. How are you? He said something nice, and I'm going to ignore it. Okay, continue our discussion. Uh, bring up specific incident. Wait, no. I want to ask about... 
Can you move your profile picture so I can see your dwarf? Oh, sure. Yoink. Oops. That's the wrong thing. Uh, I have to grab both of you. There you go. Uh, currently our dwarf is a doctor, now turned adventurer. She's got some, some iron armor on, a steel axe, and an iron shield. And the eventual goal, if we make it that far, is to sort of... Uh, not liberate the world from goblin control, but how should we say this? Uh, not sure quite what the right word would be. Uh, re reclaim parts of the world, I should say, uh, by finding some some legendary weapons and using them to cut down dwarves and all sorts of demons. Used to be the solution of problems. Now you make them nice. Yeah, this is my first time uh, really actually playing adventure mode in any real capacity, so we're just, you know, figuring things out. Several years ago, this person was kidnapped by Bax Spider Moth, so I want to know where Bax... It was inevitable. Okay, I need to know where Bax lives. Ask for the whereabouts of Bax Spider Moth. Can you tell me where I can find him? Probably on the move or deep underground, but I can't be sure. That was super unhelpful. Anyway... Continue conversation. Can I end the conversation? Say goodbye. Goodbye. And he says goodbye. What about you? Start a new conversation with the bowyer. Usually I end up going on a massacre when I play Dwarf Fortress Adventure mode. <laughs> I mean, it seems like the natural thing to do. You're a dwarf? I am a dwarf. I am a short, stubby dwarf. Hello. You say hello, presumably. It is good to see me. Is it, though? Uh, where? Ask about somebody. Ask about the goblin box spider moth. I forgot how these things work, please. Oh my lord. Hey. What can you tell me about the goblin? I don't know back spider moth. Cool. Hey. Uh... T, say goodbye. Someone else must know something, though. <laughs> Did I hear it right that the giant's name is the Climax of Adventures, so he's the final boss? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting updates and patches every single day, every single day, so fun. Yeah, exactly. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it, uh, you know, actually gets fleshed out. Hello, clerk. Neutral attitude. Hello, hello. Tell me about Bax the Goblin. Uh, ask about somebody. Bax, the goblin. What can you tell me? I don't know him. That's cool. K A T. Uh, who else is around here? You're the clerk, or you? You're an animal caretaker. I need you to tell me things. Uh, bypass greeting. You already heard me say hello to everybody. You know that I'm a, a nice person, a kind. Uh, dwarf being Bax. Can you tell me? I don't know Bax spider moth. Okay, that's cool. Well, this guy says that Bax is underground. So, that's the only lead we've got to work with. X Bax. Should be getting the quest log really, really soon. That would be nice, because then it would be cool to be able to keep... Is that prepared brain on the floor? Yummy! How do I get it? G, grab. Get prepared, reindeer brain. Mine. Okay. I pick up the brain with my left hand. Inventory. Uh, put item into a container. Put... Oh no, not that one. Drop an item, wear an item, remove an item. Eat or drink an item. Interacting. Oh, maybe I just don't have space for this brain. Okay, that's cool. X backs. Well, I've got brain in my hands, an axe on my back, uh, and we need to find some adventure. Let's go south. I could walk all this way, but it would probably not be great. Uh, what else exists around here? More hillocks. Dwarven hillocks, a human camp. We could go talk to some humans. What is this? Nourish to dawns, a human hamlet. 
Why is it flashing? It's flashing and that's interesting, so maybe we'll pass by this human monastery and then go check out that flashing hamlet. Uh, how do I go? Oh. Oh! Oh, did I just have to load some stuff? What is this? Or do I have to- oh, is this a- hold up, maybe it's a- Maybe that's actually like a- oh! A statue! What fine lore can we discover from the statue? It is a statue of Shazak Bridge Diamonds. I still don't know who that person is. But they must be some kind of local folk hero or something of the sort. I wish I could tell what time of day it was. I probably can. Yellow barrel statue of... A honey yellow barrel statue of Shazak Bridge Diamonds. Oops. Display the map near... Display on your tracks. Yeah, okay. Oops. Still on the CDDA controls in my mind. We're all the way down here, right? Okay, that was just a road, so... I cannot travel until I leave this site. Shrine of the Communion of something. Okay. Oh! This must be the monastery. It doesn't look like there's much in here. That's just a ditch in the ground. Are there perhaps more buildings? Let's go up and see. That's the wrong button. Oh, this looks like a building. Or... hmm? What's this? Detailed conglomerate. Can I look at it? Uh, so an identity, L. It's kind of annoying that L doesn't actually look yet. My intense search turns up nothing. Search for bugs. Oh, search for bugs. Interact with nearby objects. Can I look at that thing? No, I can't. Oh, there we go. I have to right-click it. View engraving. Engraved on the floor is a masterfully designed image of Ilral Ironshin, the dwarf, and dwarves. Ilral Ironshin is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf, Ilral Ironshin, to the position of abbot of the communion of stability in 206. Soon the footpire of Iharistan will reach across the world. One day in the far future. Actually, I didn't see what these statues of, of Shazak are. This item is a tin glaze statue of Shazak Bridge Diamonds. Uh, the this item is an image of Shazak Bridge Diamonds, the deity of balanced trade and wealth, depicted as a female dwarf in tin glaze. I see. What is in this hole? Can I descend? Oh, very interesting. This is uh, the wealthy chapel. Okay. Ooh, interesting. There's some items here on the floor. And it just looks like there is water here. Not even water, it's just an open space. So I better not fall down there or I'll die. Most likely. What is this? Uh, well, I could make campfires. Get salty clay, get whatever, okay. You're the dwarf without limits, true beliefs, foundations of storage. Uh, tracks for large shoe imprint. West, mine are my companions. Oh, cool. Jade pedestal, conglomerate pedestal. A treatise on furnace boulders. Inquiries on riddled labor. My thoughts on the monastery against the mountain home. Okay, that sounds like heresy. I'm gonna be honest with you. The interpretation of the market. Can I get? Get a treatise on furnace boulders. What is that? I put it in my giant barn owl leather backpack. Someone dropped books, indeed. Can I read it? I know how to read. I should be able to read. 
Uh, I'm still holding on to my leather, or not my leather, my reindeer brain. Uh, leather dress, iron breastplate. J. Read. You read A Treatise on Furnace Boulders. Written on the item is a guide entitled A Treatise on Furnace Boulders. Authored by Ilrald Datan... Datan... Lan Good. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's good enough. It concerns the monastery furnace boulders. The writing is fairly cheerful, and it gives a feeling of compassion here and there. Overall, the prose is amateurish at best. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to drop that book. J. I drop a tree on furnace boulders. So is this this is the wealthy chapel? Wish I could. Furnace boulders monastery. Okay, so we are on at furnace boulders. To be completely honest, this doesn't feel like that interesting of a of a, a monastery. <laughs> what else was there on the ground? Furnace boulders, something, something. Against the mountain homes, the dwarf without limits. I want to read the dwarf without limits. <clears throat> I pick it up. I item. Uh, the Dwarf Without Limits. Read. I can throw it. I read it. The written of that. The written portion consists of a 26-page page essay entitled The Dwarf Without Limits, authored by Ilral de Tanlingud. It concerned the career change from fish cleaner to prophet of the dwarf Ilran Ironshin in Spiral Labors in 141. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I forgot that Datan is iron. Wait, is it iron? Datan is iron? Oh, Del Deller must be steel. Then. Uh, the writing is fairly cheerful, cheerful and it gives a feeling of compassion here and there. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. Well, I thought it would be like, you know, a self-help book, maybe, or something. You know, how to improve yourself as a dwarf. Uh, not so. Okay, I just keep going up that direction, and then I won't die. What about this? What's on this thing? You engraving. Uh, it's Ilral, the same guy. He engraved himself twice. Is this another thing I can go down? Oh, this is up. Uh, another statue of Shazak. We're now on... Okay, well, we're on a tiny little ledge here. Very good construction. This seems like a building. Oh, hello, monks! Human's lower right back tooth imprint. That's what's on the ground here? Cool. Uh, maybe not where I am, but somewhere. That's very interesting. Who are you? A broad wrestler? A fat human wrestler? A slim human wrestler, a muscular human wrestler. Okay, you guys are all wrestlers. A slit eyes prophet. Can I talk to the cool prophet? If you the prophet, 117 years old. Stukos guild released. Someone curb stomped the human in here. Definitely. And disdains martial prowess. Oh, we're not gonna get along. <laughs> but he's a competent marks dwarf and novice shield user and armor user. You can't just call You can't just call people slit eyed. What have you got on you? Nothing. No health problems, no wounds. <laughs> You're a dwarf though, not a human. This guy's a human. View the human wrestler. <clears throat> Twenty-six years old. Hob board fastened. Novice spinner. I'm gonna go talk to this guy. Can you teach me about God? Uh, start new conversation. I don't know who. Oh! Akmesh is my god. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, so I can. <laughs> Hello, Akmesh. <laughs> I completely forgot. What are my. <laughs> Akmesh, tell me about this area. <laughs> he says nothing. I don't believe hard enough. <laughs> I have a god, yeah, Akmesh is the god of chaos, I think. Chaos and disease. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, as a doctor, I used to be nice and kind and was helping people. 
And then once I decided to murder every goblin in existence, I pledged myself to the teachings of chaos. Uh, so, Mr. Slit Eyes Prophet, can I speak with you? Hello. Uh, the Prophet Stukos Altarsubir. Hello, I'm Stukos. Stukos and Guild released. Udir Virtue Morals will reward a wiped fairies. I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is and what that is. Metal, yeah. I think actually the continue conversation, the in in lore, right? So actually in the game, <clears throat> there's an interesting bit of meta lore where every time you create a new world, right? You are generating a bunch of history and like historical figures and items and stuff like that. Um, and I think, I don't remember if this came out on like the Dwarf Fortress forums or something like that long ago, but there's this bit of meta lore where there's... So the title of the game officially, like Dwarf Fortress, is not just Dwarf Fortress. It's uh, Slaves to Armok, God of Blood, Chapter 2, Dwarf Fortress. And Armok is supposed to be a god in this like universe. Um, and so I think the bit of meta lore is that Armok is the god that creates and destroys all these varying worlds with different histories and gods and civilizations and, and wars and stuff like that, just because he's bored. So Armok is the true like god of chaos, really in the universe, slash Armok is the actual player of Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> but that's a uh, very interesting. Armok is not a god that ever appears in like any world you create, though. Um, what will I say about this incident? Uh, wait, did I ask about the kid getting kidnapped? Uh, bring up my placement of these things in the chapel? No. Spread rumor of the abduction. Ah, I should ask you about actually the 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 goblin that I'm hunting down. Oh, what will I say about the incident? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Spread rumor. Several years ago, someone was kidnapped. It was inevitable. Continue the conversation. Ask. I can ask him to join me in a rescue. Oh, entrances. Entrances. Interesting. What am I saying? Where can I find him? Tor. Ah. Torment Pointed is in the Mire of Curiosity, so he has a name, Torment Pointed. The Mire of Curiosity. Can you tell me where that is? Ask for directions to... Wait, Torment Pointed. Okay, Torment Pointed... No, Mire of Curiosity is a swamp. Torment Pointed must be a place in that swamp. So Torment Pointed is where Bax is. Can you tell me the way to Torment Pointed? It is far to the north. Fuck. <laughs> okay. In 227, the igniting points, the ignited poisons of the silvery ruthlessnesses founded Torment Pointed. Well, far to the north, you say. Land of chopping, and it's in a mire. Worshipful mire, so it's not that one. Could it be over here? The peaceful swamp, probably not that one. Gilded field, what's this? Sunny fields of counseling. Dune, Worshipful Mire, huh, uh, M, D, okay, that's cool, ask about somebody, reputation, who, I heart since creating the Band of the Hawk, perhaps, I didn't know I could actually, like, recruit a prophet, neutral, impatient, you're a prophet, dude, you should be, like, more, you know, centered, centered in, like, zen and stuff. Ask for permission to stay for a day. Claim the site for myself. Gift a large pet or mount. Well, no thank you. Exchange, give, take, or show personal items. Ask about the local ruler. Why not? Even though I live here. The enjoyment of realms rules furnace boulders. They are outlaws. Oh. Oh, I guess that's for you guys, not for me. Because I live a little bit further to the north. Okay. He said, right? Torment pointed us to the north in uh, the Mire of Curiosity. So, we need to find the Mire of Curiosity. Cannot travel till I leave the site. That's cool. Mire of Curiosity. Mire of Hushing. And I guess I can't go any further. Toggle Cloud View. I guess there are no clouds. 
toggle track view coming soon. Okay, end travel. D. Well, that's cool. Thank you for your kind. Oh wait, I should probably say goodbye to him. Ask how strong this group's hold over its land is. Uh, realms of phones builders, they are outlaws. Ask about the position of this group's forces. Why not? There are guards in just to the north. Oh, wait, I can... Okay, that's cool. I can just look up and down with my scroll wheel. Uh, change the subject. Comment on the weather. Seems pleasant enough day out there. Oh, where is Momu's silver gears? I cannot give in to sadness. Wait! You know about Momu's? I think we talked about Momu's in the previous place, but I don't remember. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna spread rumors of the giant, the climax of adventure. It is terrifying. Dope. Uh, state that it is terrific. Oh, what will I say about the beast? It must be stopped with violent force. A week ago, Deller Bodiceheld became Holy Lens of the Doctrines of Shielding, replacing Vabok Burn Paints. That has nothing to do with what I just told you, but okay. Uh, change the subject. I do. There's so, so are there any legendary adventures? I'm sure there are, right? Like, if I ask about people, probably I can ask about... Uh, inquire about any troubles. Ask about somebody. Uh, so all these people that show up are, in some sense, like, of some renown, right? Either they're gods or they're legendary heroes or they're people in the area or something like that. Um, like I can ask about, okay, I can ask about Cyclopses and Hill Titans, Savannah Titans, Marsh Titans, oh god. There are rocks in this world, okay. Yeah, who is this guy? Who's Inod Shot Blast? Shot Splashes. Inod Keskalvulish Shot Splashes. What can you tell me about this guy? She is mayor. Oh, okay, well... <laughs> That was a little bit less interesting than I thought it was going to be. What about this guy? Vukar Maroon Tongs. He is Abbot. Okay, never mind. That was cool, but you don't <laughs> seem to know a ton about these dudes. Uh, say goodbye. And he also says goodbye. I can, okay, I can look up and down with scroll wheel. Good to know. Maybe I should, like, get on a tier instead of a mount. Can I grab? Pick the Kenoff leaf. Got trees? What kind of tree is this? Paradise Nut, Carambola, Kumquat? Are there Kumquats on here? Probably not. Uh, pick those leaves. I forgot, because it's been a while. And also, I cannot tell what time of day it is. Uh... Is this a good aligned place? Is it? Uh, I don't think so. The sunny fields of counseling? I mean, it's probably not horrible. Oh, this is with the sun marker at the top. Okay, so that tells me roughly what the weather is like. <clears throat> Can I... I wish I could drag. I should get next to a... this thing. What is it called? A brook or something. Uh, probably a leaf. Why not? Let's just grab a bunch of stuff. I'm sure... well, I can't cook, so maybe it's not worth picking any of this up. I'm 
We ride out on our horse. I don't know if that sounds, those sounds means that it's getting later into the day, like it's becoming night or something. Who knows? Okay, but at least I can travel again. Uh, let's see. Where is this stream? Probably somewhere close by. I've discovered a river. I can't see it, but... Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, this is like the start of the river. This is like the delta. Seems awfully small, but... Wait, I can just set things on fire? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the period and comma buttons actually do wait 10 instants in one instant. No shoes allowed is my first degrees king. Or queen. Well, I think the idea is that they're fed by aquifers. Ah, that would make some sense. What is this on the floor? Those look like... spider webs. Brown recluse spider silk web. Oh, it's probably fine. Probably not a giant brown recluse, right? What do I want to eat or drink? Water. Wait. I drink the water three. Oh, was that my water? Or was it like water that was on my body? Uh, I should fill. Put item into a container. Let's fill my... Wait. Character is female. Is there a detailed sprite? Sort of? So it would be down here, but Nemuri is down here right now. Uh, let me grab these two and scooch them out of the way. So that right there is my, my dwarf sprite for now. Intestinal parasite update when. Look, man, I could just eat the brains and then I'd have a um, a prion in my head. But yeah, that's our, our dwarf. But for now, it's Nemuri instead of me. Uh, water skin. I want to fill the water skin. Where remove eat fill with water northeast below. Oh, it's already full. Cool. Well, we've got a river, so if we ever need to set up camp or something, at least we have a water source. Um, I just remembered years ago when I played this game. What is this? Visual stealth worst possible. Yeah, because I'm on a horse, I would imagine. Uh, years ago when I played this game, I think I died the first night because of boogeymen. <laughs> or, or things that come out in the night. Uh, where do we want to head towards? Oh. Is that a cloud cover then, maybe? Maybe that's what that is, why it's flashing. Anyway, that's the cave. We want to go east and then up. And then go find the mire of thing. Where what's-his-face is. Eventually. Was it the mire of... Pays Beach Royal Umber Brunch. The mire of... Caution? Or something like that? Oh shit, I completely forgot. That's me picking up the reindeer brain. That's me reading the book. Where can I find him? Torment pointed. Uh, the mire of... Okay, I forgot what it was. You receive a detailed description. <laughs> right, then they add the protein folding update every world gen requires pull to get home. Mire of Curiosity, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let me pull up. I have a folder here. Oops. Did I just destroy that window? God dang it. Recently closed windows. Yeah, I want this. Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there's the stream. Here's the music. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Uh, where are we? I need you. And I have a text log here, which I'm going to start writing things in. Okay. Uh, 
quest stuff, I guess. Mire of... I already forgot the name of it, again. You guys remember what the name... Oh, curiosity. Find and kill the goblin. Uh, Bax something or other. Cool. I am writing and cannot lie down. I forgot that that's not the move key. But yeah, if you're like outside at night, uh, things will come and, and hunt you. So you need to be prepared to fight those guys. And it's more than like one guy too, right? It's like it can be multiple guys. So depending on how strong they are, I might die. I'm glad you can cross this river. Ooh. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, in terms of, like, food and stuff, you can't fish uh, in this game, in this version of Adventure Mode yet, but you can spear things to death. So, that's an option. I'm going to travel... Aha. You're zooming me in. No significant structures. There's a bridge over there that I just crossed. Civic Mound Hillock, a ruined hillock. Drinking Mound. Ruined hillock. Abandoned hillocks. What happened here? Why is this place all fucked up? Let's check this out first. Oh god. This is tall. Who had the children? Was it Bax? I think Bax has abducted one child, at least. I don't know if he has all of them. Or they have all of them. But at least one child was abducted by Bax, the goblin. And since I'm racist against goblins, uh, it's my duty to go and rescue that child. What's over here? You have to cook food, or can you can just butcher it? I'm not sure if you can cook currently in this version of Adventure Mode. Ah, there's a door. Uh, I don't even know if you can butcher either, but I think in terms of food, if you don't have any, you can find some and just steal it without consequence for the time being. What's up here? South-southeast is a human tower. I don't want to go there. Or to the south. Locks of clasped, spattered. I think that's where I was before. said it's a ruin, but it didn't seem that messed up. Where are we? We're already, like, super... Like, not close to where I wanted to look at things, huh? Based, yeah, thievery. Thievery is the most noble of pursuits. How about now? We're past that thing. But there's like a hillock over here somewhere. Ah, there's the door. A human hammerman to Narachin spe Spearman. Hey, Kamad, long live the cause. Narachin human spearman to Thid human hammerman. Salutations, it is good to see you. Long live the cause. What's up? Uh, the human necromancer, Mastrop Riftnot of the Empire of Clenching Once, Evaporation and Condensation. Might help the giant jackal parchment scroll. Oh. Evaporation and condensation might help, which is a giant jackal parchment scroll, and he wants it returned to pelt fleshy. Last I heard, it was the in the crypt of ringing in purple juggled. Those words mean nothing to me, sir. Can you tell me where I can find the human mancer, necromancer, mastrop griffin? He already answered your question, dude. Like, <laughs> you good? Also, I just, like, walked into here on my horse. Can I steal their clothes? Will I get mad? Also, are you, like, competent? Skilled spearman. Okay, not good. Skilled hammerman. Also not good. He'll probably murder me because I think I am... Like, I can talk to my horse. Hello, horse. It's great to have a friend like you. Aw, that's cute. Oh, yeah, what's my stats? Competent Mace Dwarf, Proficient Axe Dwarf. Yeah, those guys might kill me. Unless they're, like, horrendously bad at dodging.
more focus. Novice, novice, novice. Am I adequate at using my stuff, though? If I'm adequate, perhaps it's not a lost cause. Adequate armor, competent dodger, adequate fighter. Hmm. Well, I just, I don't want to, like, steal their stuff because they might just murder me. They're also not goblins, that's true. Yeah, I don't hate them as much. Maybe I don't like them because I'm like a dwarf and I just don't like people as much as dwarves. But I wouldn't just kill them, you know, for no reason. Dwarves and elves are evil incarnate though, so like I don't have a problem murdering them. Drinking mound. This is the drinking mound? Where's the door? I want drinks. can't go up. What? I already passed the drinking mound? Oh, that's the ruined hillock. Oh no, I'm in the ruined hillock. Okay, so the drinking mound should be over here. Somewhere. They might be recruitable. That's a fair point. And you know what? Since this is an early build version of the game, maybe I don't have to like feed them or anything. Uh, I don't even know if that's a thing in Adventure Mode and Door Fortress. It is a thing you have to do in uh, CDDA. You have to like feed your followers and make sure they don't starve to death and stuff. I already lost a door. Where the hell was the door? <laughs> there it is. Go down? Oh, control, control. Hail and well met, human spearman. Hello, Dwarf. I am Kamad Lashfire. It is good to see you well, Kamad. How are you feeling? I don't sound like that. <laughs> One must always carefully consider the correct course of action. Indeed. Would you like to slaughter goblins with me? <laughs> Inquire about any troubles? Well, let's see. Oh, interesting. What are you about to say? Continue the conversation. Uh, what will I say about the trouble? I want to keep inquiring. Well, let's see. Okay. He doesn't care. Does he? He doesn't. Okay. Continue conversation. Change the subject. Um, ask for directions. Ask about somebody. Let's ask about the goblin. The gobbo. The gobbo Bax. My current mortal enemy. Spider Moth. I don't know, Beck Spider Moth. Okay. Would you like to kill him, though? Ask listener to join me. He's neutral and impatient. Join me on adventures. I will agree to travel with you if you lead me to glory and death. Okay, that sounds dope. I will definitely do that for you, homie. Uh, hello, Hammerman. Well, this guy also, he wants to find this necromancer, so we can put that down on our list of quests, subquests, right? Subquest. Help. Kamad. The human. Find the necromancer. Mast Rosp Rift Knot. Uh, and presumably kill them. Uh, you, though. I want to speak to you. Continue the conversation. Ask about any troubles. Well, let's see. We've got the missing treasure. There's missing treasure? Excuse me? Ask about the missing treasure. He also wants that scroll about evaporation. Oh, the tr oh no, the necromancer... I think the, necrom the necromancer wants the scroll, I think. The human necromancer Mastrosp and Riftnot of the Empire of Clenching wants Ted Nuts Seals for students. The Savannah Titan Parchments. <laughs> Te Ted Nuts Seals? Excuse me? Ted Nuts Seals for students? Okay. He wants this parchment scroll returned to Pelt Fleshy. Last I heard, it was in the Citadel of Dangers in Pastime Brush. What a name. Missing scroll. What is this shit called? Ted 
nuts seals for students. <laughs> Acquire a scroll and give it to the necromancer. In. Okay. It was last in the citadel. What's a nut seal? <laughs> They'll sit down and stop boning <laughs> during class. I cast ten nut seals. It was last in the Citadel of Dangers in Pastime Brush. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure we can find it. Or I'm sure if we ask this guy, he'll tell us where it is. It's what Nutsackians call a scroll. Alright, the Citadel of Dangers in Pastime Brush. Can you tell me where that was? Ask for directions. First to Pelt Fleshy, right? Because we're looking for... Well, where's the ne Necromancer? He is in Pelt Fleshy in the Hill of Learning. I think I know where that is. Maybe. Pelt Fleshy is in the Hill of Learning. Necromancer House. Maybe the Gelder back home knows about it. That's true. Like, oh, you want to learn about seal and nuts, do you? Continue the conversation. Uh, ask for directions to... Okay, well, now I have to ask you again about... The Troubles. Uh, Blossom Trampled... Oh, no, Blossom Trampled is where we were. Ask for directions to... Okay, let's just ask again about Troubles if we can. Titan, the uh, Necromancer... We asked for directions to Pelt Fleshy. Control Echo, no. Okay. Can I ask again about, like, anything that's troubling you? I hate this. I'll just say that of the, of the you know, improvements that the new version of this game made, the fact that you click on this and, like, clicking somewhere else doesn't contextually take you out of that box really is annoying. Uh, ask for... The whereabouts, ask for directions, ask for... Change the subject. Ask for... Any troubles? The missing treasure. Yeah, I need to ask you about the missing treasure again. Oh, he wants another one. After foraging behavior for the sluiced servant. Another parchment scroll. Okay, Crypt of Ringing and Purple Juggle. I don't know what that is. I'll ask you about that later. Um, where's Purple Juggle? Where's Pelt Fleshy? Pelt Fleshy is far to the southwest. Okay. To the southwest. You receive a detailed description. In one, the Fellowship of Admiration of the Empire of Clenching founded Pelt Fleshy. That's cool. Uh, I don't want to jump. I want to recruit you to my cause. Ask you to join me. Neutral attitude animated. Well, that's good. Uh, join me on adventures. With a hand, with a band so large, what share of the glory would I have? Oh, okay. I see how you. I see how it is. I'm gonna keep asking you though. Okay. You know what? Guide me then. Guide me to uh, Pelt's fleshy. Request a guide to. Oh my lord. Pelt. Fleshy. Pastime Brush. Wait, Pastime Brush is where the... Citadel of Dangers is. Let's go there. Tell me where Pastime Brush is. Oh my god, this menu is going to make me so angry. I don't know myself and don't know anybody that could tell you. Wow. Useless. <laughs> Useless. Uh, could you join me as an entertainer, though? Maybe? Uh, can you take me to Back Spider Moth? I don't know myself. Okay. Could you take me to instead? <laughs> purple Juggled. You don't know Purple Juggled. Uh, you don't know Pastime Brush. Wait, do you know Purple Juggled? Maybe you do. I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. 
uh, what's inside this limewood cabinet? We've got mittens and clothes and stuff and a donkey leather helm. Large donkey leather armor. Can I take? Can I take things from here? I inventory. Drop, wear, remove. But Does G not get? Found a site and build interact. Can I interact with... Oh, yeah, okay. I can just take all that stuff if I need it. Okay, anyway. You've joined me, human spearman. Right? Oh, wait. I should probably tell you to fall. There you are! Hello! Alright, first we're gonna find this drinking mound, and we're gonna get hammered. To celebrate our new companion, and... Now, what time is it? Oh. Oh, where'd you go? Is he just lagging behind? Where's the door to this drinking mound? Okay, it's T and then D to get back out. Maybe it's on the road here? I don't see it though. This is like a tall, tall thing. And I've gone way past it. Here. Where's Kamad? Oh god, Kamad is gone. Kamad has vanished. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness, I thought I lost you. Is the door on the floor, or is it just like somewhere I can't see, or what? I want to get drunk! Okay, this is the place I was just climbing. There it is! Come on, come on, let's get fucking wasted. Oh, hello. Yo, this place sucks! <laughs> Uh, how do I talk to you? Oh yeah, right click. Start new conversation with the human hammerman. The human hammerman. Hello. The human hammerman, Aibu Monyolule. Hello, dwarf. I am Aibu Trust Opened. The booze pit. <laughs> what are you doing in this fucking horrible hole? <clears throat> uh, bring up a specific incident or rumor. I placed this thing. Summarize the conflict in which a mongoose attacked my horse. Oh no, this occurred a few hours ago in the sunny fields of counseling. It was inevitable. How rude. Ask for a change of subject. Uh, are there any troubles? Well, let's see, we've got the missing treasure. Okay, cool. Probably the same treasure. Ask about the missing treasure. Yeah, you, okay, you know about the... It says a different one. Okay, he wants... Oh. Trammeled clashes the tenacious escort, the silver scimitar, scimitar, returned to pelt fleshy. Last I heard it was in the spongy air and cloistered spells. Okay, well that's a lot of info. Uh, scimitar, what is it called? Trammeled clashes. Clashes the tenacious escort. Silver scimitar seems terrible. Is this like a stupid world where all the cool cutting weapons are made of silver and all the bashing weapons are made of, like, iron and steel? Because this is like the third or fourth cutting weapon that's been made of, like, <laughs> silver. Uh, he wants it, and it's in... Back to Necro Man. It's in the spongy air in Cloister Spells. Well, I can just go grab it if I ever find this place. Join me. Uh, where is Cloister Spells? Far to the southwest. Southwest of this 
place. <laughs> Receive a detailed description. The band of tours of the Empire of Clenching founded closer spells. Okay, so generally in that area. Will you join me though? Ibu? Sorry. Uh, exchange, give or show, talk about, ask about. Join me. Join me on adventures. Okay, you just don't want... Okay. Maybe my horse is just taking up so much space in the party. He doesn't want to join. What about you, human axeman? Hello. I don't understand how somebody can become so obsessed by what somebody else has. Well, good for you. You're a, a kind person. I suppose. Join me? Join me on adventures? Okay. You just... Okay. We're gonna have to... How can people be so glum? Look at this place! This is a drinking mound and there's not even beer here. There's not even... Okay. Goodbye. Uh, there's another hole in the ground here. Unless this is the drinking? Nope, this is just a hole in the ground. <laughs> Ruined mound? This is also probably a ruined mound. Yep, it's empty. Where's my man? Where's the spearman? There you are. You're chilling out. Can I tell you to do something? Like, stick closer? View my status, view my log. Movement options. That's for a tier. This is the party. Okay, I can't really do much. It seems like. Oops. Capital E, party tactical settings? I guess we don't have those yet. I lick the cave fish leather water skin. Nice. <clears throat> Map. Okay, where to? To the southeast, huh? Or southwest, do they say? Southwest. <clears throat> Is that like over here? Hell of learning. Oh shit, that's far, dude. Okay, well, we need to, you know... The rock is rumored to be in the gold, golden rod. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's go that way. I want to go over there. Dang it, how does this work again? M. Okay, and we'll go... West first. Okay, what does this mean in the top left corner? I don't know what that meant. Anyway, we're off on an adventure. These are some more hillocks that don't even have booze. No significant structures. Probably no food or anything. It would be nice if... Well, I can just poke around. Abandoned hillock. Castle mound. Civic mound. Castle mound. And a drinking mound. Actually, let's stop here. I want to see what's up. Where's the door to this castle mound? Surely it's not this thing. Uh, Keybinds. Perhaps this? Nope. Also empty. Fat Sheriff. A sprawling criminal organization has left our people living in fear. They have a fortress called Channel Dunes somewhere in the Rumored Horn. Cool. It is terrifying. Uh, the Greater Relic once clinched fair the Deviant Elbow, the Cobaltite Crown returned to Hand of Slaughter. Last I heard it was in Health Crystals. I don't know what that is. You're just gonna pet my horse without, without permission? I see how it is. I'm good. Alright, so who are you guys? None of you guys are adventurers, so you guys are useless to me. It doesn't look like there's any cool items in in that mound, either. 
what are these? Can I steal? Spinach leaves, bitter melon leaves, cucumber vines, cucumber leaves. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep pressing escape instead of D to get out of the um, map. Oh, hello? Is this supposed to be the drinking mound? Man, the dwarves really need to step their game up, huh? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Boring. What is this? Well, I can't go in there unless I crawl in there, uh, but... You know what? Why not? Let's check it out. Let's see what's here. It looks like another, um... What is it called? Abbey, or... or the place where monks live. Oh my gosh. Chapel. Hello! The frail human child is playing make-believe. Are you both children? The frail human child... A clear-voiced human monk. Who are you? View the human monk. Fenny Ivory clapped. He's content after putting on a well-crafted item. Good for you. Hello. Uh, the servant of torture greets you. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so these are weirdos. Nice. Uh, what's the trouble, servant of torture? We've got the missing treasure. This is about the fucking... Necromancer again. Uh, I've heard that the brass Arab declined the copper shield be returned to my family. Oh, I desire. It was held by a meat friend judge. Now, who in the world could that be? Uh, he's in the virtuous steps. Drilled Heathers is in the virtuous steps. I mean, you can, like, try and tell me where that is, but directions, directions. Drilled Heathers. A day's travel to the east. Okay, good, but I'm not going there, so goodbye. Uh, T, goodbye. Good luck finding your shield, bro. That's where they live. Can I steal some artifacts? Maybe there's a cool artifact I can, like, give to an evil dwarf lord or something. There's a building. Just riding in my horse into what appears to be a church made of dirt with nothing in it. Okay. There's another building over here. Oh no, am I hungry? I'm hungry! I should eat. I'm going to eat alligator lung. Is this my... No, those are announcements. How do I tell if I'm hungry? Z... Oh, Z status. Uh, items, health, skills. I guess it'll just tell me instead of showing me an icon. Or it'll show me the icon instead of showing me, telling me in like a menu somewhere. Look at these tables! What the hell? Silver table? Rose gold? What the fuck? What kind of abbey just has like a rose gold table sitting around? Trifle pewter? Beyond ta Brother, this is messed up. Platinum table? What? Torture my ass. They're, these guys are living in luxury. That's fucked up. When they add building to adventure mode? the hell is all this? When they add building to adventure mode, I'm gonna build my own place and, like, steal their tables. What is this? A cube. Marcus statue of caddy lantern honeys. Uh, the human and Marak Marcusite. Caddy lantern honeys is making a plaintive gesture. The artwork relates to the moment when Malky bewitched board cursed the human caddy lantern honeys to assume the form of a lizard-like monster every full moon in pastime brush in the midspring of 205. This isn't pastime brush, right? No, it's not. 
What about this one? Uh, Ortho Clay Statue of Cusith Name Romance. Uh, Cusith Name Romance is surrounded by the humans. It relates to the recruitment of monks into the shameful order. Could this be the shameful order? Uh, he's laboring. The artwork relates to the construction of slaughters. Slaughter's rung by the human Stasbo Azurbranded for the Shameful Order. Yeah, Shameful Order is definitely like a, a place for a certain kind of person, I feel like. What is this? This is something I've already seen. Kusith. Yeah. They don't even have artifacts to steal, so not really worth the trouble. Hello. Did you want to talk? Uh, why are you flashing? Are you, like, mad or something? A few weeks ago, Alnos Belbear became Baroness of the Creamy Fellowship, replacing Athakam Backfeasts. Both of those names sound, like, marginally... Yabai. Yeah, I want to talk to this monk again and see if he really is part of the shameful whatever. Ooh, what's this? A pedestal? Chromite altar. Statue of Days Hillstills. Uh, the human in quartzite. He is screaming. This relates to the moment when Nalki Bewitched Ward cursed the human vampire Days Haystills to prowl the night in search of blood and gold spells in the mid-autumn of 144. Cool. Someone just became a vampire and... Sick. Yeah. Given to starvation. I'm not starving. What are you talking about? Yo. What's up, dude? Are you like a weirdo? Do you like whips and chains and stuff? Read listener. Life is, in a word, torture. Okay, yeah, you definitely are. <laughs> Statue of Days Nuts. Uh, ask about the said's name. Can I ask, about, ask him about his... his religion? Investigate or interrogate. Ask about their master or boss. Uh, persuade. Novice persuader. I serve no one. Okay. State my values, express my emotions. Accuse listener of being a night creature. Oh, that's interesting. Hello, oh, hey, what's up, Mori? Best viewers and followers, hello, bot. Get blocked. Uh, ask about the profession. What do you do? This is my third year as a monk. Interesting. What do you do, though? That's it. You just, like, hit yourself with whips for three years in a row. Abs and bio. <laughs> it's a lot of dialogue options. Definitely, definitely. No feet and bio. Uh, such is adventure mode. Make a flattering remark. I feel like he wouldn't like flattering remarks because life is pain, after all. Uh, what about a specific rumor? Uh, what about uh, the abduction of Sakzul, the dwarf? It was inevitable? That's cool. You seem like a swell guy. Oh, okay. Another one? Get banned. State that I don't care. State that it is for the best. State that it is terrifying. Uh, change the subject. There's hotkeys? Oh yeah, there's hotkeys. But this is in a weird state where it's like a hybrid between keyboard and mouse control. Um, so well, hotkeys are fine. You do have to scroll down. Are people hotkeying through the options? I mean, some people are, for sure. Uh, ask for the whereabouts, change the subject. How the listener is feeling? I don't even know how you would scroll down here. Not these buttons, not this one, not this one. Oh, no, that's me moving. Oh, this is zoom in? What the fuck? Okay, cool. Uh, ask about somebody. Do you know about the goblin? Box. Bax. Sorry. Bax Spider Moth. I'm trying to kill him. I don't know Bax Spider Moth. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Here we go. I don't know where my Spearman ally went. I mean, you can definitely hotkey through other things. Ah, okay. Why would you zoom in here? I'm not- okay. <laughs> cool. What time is it? I guess the sun is down? I can't tell. I think normally what's supposed to happen at night is that the sun goes down, but then also your vision changes. Like there's a blue kind of layout or overlay on top of everything. Uh, but that's not implemented in this version of Adventure Mode. So for now, we just continue adventuring. Is this a human hamlet? Seems like it. Let's go talk to these humans. Oh god, this is probably moving one sp space can take forever. Oh, there's a castle over there. Slicerch Hamlet. In the sunny fields of something. I have discovered a river. Okay. Just imagining that one guy has the whole dialogue tree memorized just chugging through the conversations. Well, it seems like it's it changes a little bit, probably depending on who you're talking to. Where's my friend? Where's the spearman? He's gone. He left. He didn't... He didn't want to come over here. Alright, we'll find a different companion. One who actually respects my journey. One who really actually wants to go save the scrolls and obtain them for the necromancer. Is this all farmland? Maybe it is. Yeah, it seems like some of the, the dialogue options do change depending on the person. This is a hamlet, but I don't see any houses or any hams. Oh, I see food and a house. Hello, excuse me. Walking into this house with my horse. A sunken eyes human cook, a fuse lobe ears human farmer, a slim human bowyer, a obese human trapper. Cool. Hello, human cook. <clears throat> General mood exhilarated. Hello, dwarf. <laughs> He's sunken eyes but exhilarated. I am Agen Relieved Burials. Well, what's up, Agen? What have you got to say, human cook? Uh, specific incident or rumor? Abduction of this dwarf. It was inevitable. Cool. Can you... Impatient, unassuming, but still exhilarated. I need you to join me in a rescue. I have no interest in your objectives. Okay. Bye, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how to scroll down, so I'll just tap T. Goodbye. If you know of any, like, soldiers I can recruit, though, that would be sick. There's another house. What's that? Bags of fire clay? Okay. Greeting, my name is Sarid Great Senses. Wow. Like... Narcissistic much? Oh, are we on the same tile? No. We're not. What's in here? Can I steal from this? Clothes. A helmet, large elephant leather helm, and fire clay. Not really anything that worth. What's up? Just passing through. Just passing through. Please, Mr. Greatness's Great Senses is my father. Okay, well, this is a little more interesting than the Dwarven Hillocks. Hello! Are you a lasher? I'm good. Hey, are you, like, an adventurer? Are you in need of... Greet hello. Hello, dwarf. I'm Sushtaf Wave Painted. Wave Panted. Sorry. Uh, ask about somebody. Ask for directions. Are there any troubles? Well, we've got brewing trouble with our neighbors and the missing treasure. Wow, there's also 
trouble brewing with the neighbors. I care about the treasure, though. The human necromancer wants... What the fuck is that? Flabass... Flab... Flabad... Flabadass tree... Flabadass treelgis might help. The Heliodor-bound codex returned to, to, returned to pelt fleshy. Last I heard, it was in the crypt of ringing in purple juggle. Well, hey, would you like to join me? In the Hill of Learning. Well, I know where the Hill of Learning is. I happen to know because someone else told me about it. Join me? Uh, can I ask you to help me save that kid or whatever? Uh, what do I no, I should tell you about the kid first. Uh, this guy was abducted. It was inevitable. Uh, join me in a rescue. I have no interest in your objectives. Okay, that's sick. Anyway, can you join me in another quest, though? Brag about my past violent acts. <laughs> He's bullshitting me. I imagine, yeah. Uh, ask about any troubles. Ask to join me. Join me on adventures. I will agree to travel with you if you lead me to glory and death. Perfect. Let's go, human lasher. Hopefully you won't leave me like the, the cool spearman did. But first I need to- oh, hello! Human mace man. Hello. He's Siga Amaze Crew. Sorry, Amaze Ekru. A truly amazing shade of Ekru. What's the missing treasure? The human necromancer. Okay, this guy is like super... Like the necromancer really, really is like... He really wants these items. Uh, join me. Join me on adventures. With the band so large... Okay, it's only two people, dog. Like, it's really not that big. What's in here? Nothing to steal. Uh, can I... F Let's drink some more water. And let's drink some more water. And let's fill our... Cave fish leather skin. Oh, no. Eat or drink, interact with an item in a different way. I want to interact with that thing. My leather water skin. Name it? No, I want to fill it. Can I use this? Uh, view the sheep wool rope. View the mechanism. Use. Use. Ugh, I can't use it. That kind of sucks. Alright, where are we at? There's a castle over here. What is this? It's a statue of Ishus Parchlisten. The item is an image of Ishus Parchlisten, the human and the ashen bones, the deity of death, depicted as a male human in silver. Ishus Parchlisten is embracing the ashen bones. The artwork relates to the belief of the human Ishus Parchlisten and the ashen bones in the Midsummer of 205. Cool. Did this guy already leave? No, he did not. Okay, he's just like very far behind. Oh, I'm writing and cannot lie down. How do I change? Is it M? Uh, walk. Yeah, should walk. Then that'll give our human lasher friend a chance to catch up. What did he say to me? Oh no, someone else talked. Okay, I think it's night, but we're gonna risk it and go out during the night. I'm gonna head out to this castle. Oh, it's red. It's red. We're gonna see what's up. Actually, does red maybe mean that it's like. Get me going and I won't stop for anything. Oh, okay. That's you. Friend. I didn't even actually like, get your name, I just recruited you to my party. No significant structures. You mean this big old castle is not significant? The human necromancer blah, 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 wants to star chart 
and more of the Melnite Bound Codex Return to Plot Fleshy. Okay, so we just need to go to Purple Juggle, basically, and kill things, I suppose? But Purple Juggled is, like, all the way down here in the Hill of Learning. The land of chopping. It's scorching down there. That's messed up. Kind of don't want to go into a place that's scorching, to be totally honest. <clears throat> you seem like the doors of this castle. Well, if no monsters can get in here, it's probably a good place to spend the night. Oh, whoa. What's this? No significant structures? Yeah, sure. We're inside it, though. Aha! Rough native silver block floor. Wait, where? What? Are you joking? This place is built out of silver? What kind of fort is this? What if I go down? I like to dress well. I'm happy for you. This is empty. Okay. Uh, this place might be the... Maybe this can be like the base of our... Or Foot Kingdom. This is where we live. The Chad just dug the place out of Naded Silver. It looks that way. Like, this is Native Silver block walls. Floors. It's just an empty castle made of pure silver. I guess there's a building down there in the middle. We should check that out. Uh, we can't get out of this tower. <laughs> Whoops. Down, down. Doesn't seem like anyone is here though, right? Like, that's kind of weird. Oh, these are- oh, hello! A few weeks ago, Oxit Dirth Young became Baron of the Group of Abyssus, replacing his mother, Egu Budroom. <laughs> cool name. Uh, what's this item on the floor? An introduction to Dent Closed. Get an introduction to Dent Closed. I put it in my backpack. Let's read an introduction to Dent Closed. Uh, view, drop, remove, put on, eat, read. Oh god. Uh, the written portion consists of an 83-page guide entitled An Introduction to Dent Closed, authored by Item Naganiznior. Nagan it concerns the Hamlet Dent Closed. The writing is a bit stiff, the edit is reasonably serious. Overall, the prose is amateurish at best. Uh, Dent Closed. Is that like a place that I know of? Is that this thing? No. Sly Search, Tindrilled, Sloppy Depth. That's a weird name. <laughs> Egu, egu, egu. Sloppy Depth is a, a crazy name for like a place to live with humans. Lark Scalded. What is this? Viced Spray. Human Camp. Human Fort. Umbra Spider. What a name. Church Whip. And we are currently at Siko Akwav. Sweetnesses Square. I like that. Look at the three S's right in the middle. Sweetness is square. Human castle. Well, I assume they're not going to mind if I actually just chill here, though, so... So these guys, or whoever's, like, in charge here is probably, like, the lord of all these peasants living in the... in these places, right? Like, the... the little hamlets over here. And I guess this... what is this? Human camp? I should go up towards these, like, dwarven places at some point. 
But for now, we need to go out and look for that uh, necromancer, eventually. What's up? Who are you? Judding Chin, Human Gelder. Gelder. Furnace Operator. Nifith Slidbrides. Natural or Supernatural? I don't know. Human Weaponsmith, Human Stone Crafter. A Slim Human Brewer. These guys live in- I don't understand. <laughs> like, you just live in a castle made of silver. Human Stone Crafter. A straight hair Baroness. Who are you? Hello. I'm Bukwi Mirth Submerges. Praise be to Nakli Bewitched Board. Oh, God. She's a weirdo. She's like an SNM weirdo. Uh, bring up specific incident or rumor. Well, there was a dwarf child that was abducted. It was inevitable. It must be stopped with violent force. The porcupine leather dress really makes the outfit. Okay, that's great. I can tell you're already that already we're gonna get along incredibly. Uh, maybe they have some kind of problem with were creatures in the area. Do you think? Maybe. Wait, what makes you think that? Like an actual thing? Or ask how you're feeling. Ask to become a hearth person. Join service, hearth person. Asked to be made a performer for the Band of Ramparts. Ask about the surrounding area. Handle Slaughter is in the Rumored Horn. Rackus to Portal Parch and the Dwarf is there. Uh, cool. Where did you go? There you are. Nah, but it'd be funny if you could keep- Oh, build a keep out of silver so where creatures couldn't even walk in. That would make sense. That'd be interesting. Ask for permission to stay for a day. Certainly. It would be terrible to leave someone to fend for themselves after sunset. Why, thank you. Continue the conversation. Uh, more rumors. Uh, the giant. It is terrifying. Mm, what else? Change the subject. What do you do? What is your profession? I'm a baroness. I was a metalsmith for 20 of the years of my life. Wow. Wait. How old are you? 25? Two lovers. Enraged at all- wait, are you- is she berserk? Uh, hmm. Damn, it was behind again. Oh, rip. I'm sorry. Enraged at all enemies doesn't sound great. To be honest. Anyway, I'm walking through your tower with a horse. What's in this chest? I can get the chest, but can I look at it? What do I want it to do? There's a rope, there's an iron scimitar, 25 iron arrows. Can you, you look like an axe man. Would you like to enter my service? Oh, that's a hammerman. That's what hammers look like? Was that the leather wearing BDSM savage? <laughs> oh, that's pretty far behind. Damn. Well, view the jutting chin human hammerman. Skilled hammerman. Novice shield user. Iron maul. Right hand. You've only got leather armor, though. It's not going to protect you from the uh, axe if I chop you with it. Anyway, would you like to enter my service, though? Hello. Okay. Join me for adventure. With the band so large, okay, you mm, suck. There are no handrails on there. Who are you? Oh, the Baroness is no longer enraged. You're a human weaver. Uninteresting. You're just a human. You're like a peasant. What's up? Hello, dwarf. I am Hode Gold Growths. Gold Growths. Huh. Um. Are there any troubles? Well, abductions in the missing treasure. Well, I know about abductions, but let's ask. Just in case. A few years ago, Osplek Sugar Whispered was kidnapped from Sweetens Square by Cuts Mob Owned Malice. Wow, they just ran into this tower made of silver and snatched somebody, huh? Uh, 
It's another goblin. Cut some mob own malice. Time to start logging things from Sweetness Square. Goblin abduction. Who's this guy? Osbleck. Sugar whispered. Abducted. By. What's this guy's name? Cuts mob. Owned malice. Where is this goblin? Probably on the move or deep underground, but I can't be sure. Well, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, there's a chair over here. What about this other building to the right? Yeah, it seems like that Baroness also might be one of the leather-wearing savages, to be honest. So that's like the keep, but that's it? That's all that's in this castle? Yeah, this is outer wall again. And this is probably also outer wall. I can't tell though if it's nighttime or not. We should take a note of this place, because, like, a silver castle is pretty sick. Like, it's pretty badass. So, if we're successful in our adventures, and we become strong enough, we'll just come roll back up here. Uh, you know, indulge the, the Baroness in her, what is it called, um, religion of pain, and just co-op this place as our own. I cannot travel until I leave this site. That's great, but I just want to know what time it is. Tell me what time it is, please. Toggle cloud view? There's no clouds. See the map? Toggle sneaking and travel. Oh wait, it's black at the top. Maybe that means it's nighttime. Anyway, I'm gonna run out the doors and like... aggro uh, a horrendous being of the night. I feel like I can see pretty far for it being nighttime, honestly. Yeah, how do I tell? Okay, well, I don't want to go too far, because they said I could stay. What did you say to me? I guess I just don't appreciate art. Well, I don't, I don't like that. That's not cool. Anyway, let's like set a fire right in the middle of this place. Oh, maybe I should get down. Uh, how do I get down? <laughs> S, I am riding and cannot lie down. G? Not G. Oh lord. Movement options, M. Uh, well, that's a tier. How do I get off my horse? I am nearby. Oh, I am a rider. Hotkey S. Okay, that didn't help. I want to get down. Jump. Oh, I could just jump off. Cool. Uh, G. Make a campfire. Can I not make a campfire? Do I need items to make a campfire? Hold on. Maybe I do. Oops. Fortress. Adventure mode. Not gonna lie, I kind of miss the, um... What up? Wiki. I kind of miss the sound of this keyboard. It's not bad. I just don't really like the, uh keycaps I've got on it. Uh, campfire. I feel containers and booze. Do, do, do. do I need wood to make a campfire?
time limit, you can see the current date. Doesn't look like it can. Oh, P is perform. What is happening? What do I do? I wish these controls worked. How about this one? Tracking with the campfire. Da, 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 da. Okay, it doesn't say how to do it. And just making a campfire does not seem to work. Anyway, we're just going to go up to the second floor of their, I guess, castle throne room and fall asleep for eight hours. Hello, sirs. just chill here in this corner. What was the button? X? No. S? No. Well, I can lie on the ground. Uh, w? What I want to wear? Am I still holding that, like, brain in my hand? I am. We should eat it. Uh, well, we should drink wine and then also eat brain. And then how to sleep. Time hold, jump, talk, P. Uh, sneaking, movement, open, inventory, view my log, view my status. Ah, Z, capital Z. I cannot rest until I leave. Motherfucker. She told me I could sleep here, and now you're gonna tell me. Hey, where are you? There you are. Hello. Continue my conversation. Did you hear Keanu Reeves' shadow in Song 3? Yeah, I did. That's kind of wild. <clears throat> I feel like it only works in the sense that, like... Uh... It only works in the sense that Shadow, like, shoots a gun. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't really, like... I don't know. Like, why? <laughs> right? Like, why otherwise? Ask favor. Uh, change the subject. Join service as a hearth person. Where did it go? Ah. Sleep. Man, I don't remember what it was. Specific item. Yeah, there was a giant. It was terrifying. Cool. Can I sleep here, though? It's kind of suck if I have to, like, go somewhere else and... and sleep and not sleep here. Tell a joke. And the dwarf saw the sun and vomited on the spot. Cool. I would like to sleep. Uh. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to fend for ourselves out in the wilderness. Uh, where to? We should go by water. Let's go back to the hamlet, if we can. Oh, I'm not on the horse. Yes, I understand. Man wants... Uh, or not man. Necromancer wants thing. How do I ride again? <gasps> oh, my lord. Uh, da -da 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 this location is that... Was it M? How will I move? Oh, uh, view the horse. Mount. There we go. Am 
Am I in the site? I am no longer in the site. But... Okay, uh, view, pull, attack, combat. Can I... How do I dismount? Oh, jump. Let's start a campfire. There we go. I made a campfire. What can I do with the campfire? Heat steel battle axe. Okay, I can heat all these things. I can heat my food. Let's heat my canoff leaf. Can I eat my warm canoff leaf? I guess I just... I lick it. I can't eat it. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, I stole this book. What if I heat this? What if I heat the brain again? Uh, okay. It's probably, honestly speaking, not safe to just be out here in the wilderness. <laughs> Because uh, we don't have, like, a bed or anything. <laughs> is this the fortress? Yeah, this is our fortress. <laughs> oh, he's talking to a tear. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't have, like, a place to actually sleep. I'm gonna... I don't have a free grasp. Oh, okay. I should put things inside container. I should put my reindeer brain inside the backpack. And then... Can I put the wine inside the backpack also? No, I can't. I do not have a free grasp for the iron shield. Why is that? Am I two-handing the battle axe for some reason? Uh, remove? No, I want to equip and heat the iron shield. Yeah, adventure mode is a little bit, uh, wear an item. I cannot wear that. I. What just happened? Oh. Hey, bad times. Because, uh, I think my campfire went out. <laughs> oh, no? What was that? I don't have a free grasp. Okay. left hand it's the oh the right hand is my dwarven wine okay I just eat more dwarven wine I'm starting to feel full can I not put the dwarven wine in oh I can put it in the water skin sick perfect okay well now we should be able to sleep so <clears throat> let's sleep until dawn and if we get woke, woken up in the middle of the night by beasts or something, we'll just kill them. Okay, we survived. Who needs water when you have wine? Actually, though, that's literally how dwarves function in this game, right? Like, like dwarves, the first thing they would rather drink is water. Or sorry, not water, is wine. Like, alcohol. I think even so... Like, so much so, I, someone correct me if I'm wrong, that they will drink literal vomit off the floor before they drink water instead of alcohol. Like, the only reason dwarves need water is to cleanse wounds, I believe. Uh, oh, I can now... Yes, there we go. Uh, let's pick wheat leaf, pull avocado wood branch. I can fell the tree, that's cool. What about this, can I turn off the campfire? Uh, I can't turn it off. Okay, well, it's just there. Yeah, this is a true IRL fact. Yeah, exactly. Why should I help? Excuse you? Uh, fell avocado tree. I chopped down the avocado tree. Nice, we've got some wood and can't do anything with it, I think. Okay. Anyway, oh. 
let's ride a tier and start traveling because we want to get to what is this place called i have to move i have to move still <clears throat> we want to find purple puzzles purple juggles i think is the name of it uh pastime brushes travel close to spells per some some place it's over there in the southwest south southwest the human hamlet of vice spray is far to the south southwest uh sse taper rake okay well, we know that there's this castle here, which we can eventually commandeer for ourselves. Are there too many obstacles? Are there too many trees for me to fast travel? Too many rocks or something like that? Anyway, I'm gonna help this, this human guy find our, our necromancer, man. There we go. All right, we want to eventually go, like, down here. Surroundings Sinister. That's fucking cool. <laughs> uh, Cardinal feels the land of chopping... Human castles. Human castles. That looks like a hamlet. Let's go to that castle. I want to go to that castle. Might be more prudent to, like, take the roads that are actually built. Oh shit, there's a necromancer tower over here. Wait, hold up. Church Whip. Oh, I don't think Church Whip is where the human necromancer that they spoke about lives. But I'm interested, so... This is a marsh, the Swamp of Night. I want to see what's going to happen here. Furred fire clay. <clears throat> uh, oh no, I'm thirsty and hungry. So what time is it? It's day. Oh my gosh. Eat. Eat my steel battle axe. No, let's eat some alligator lung. And eat some water. Uh, and then let's refill our... Thing. Oh my god, I'm crying. Why am I crying? <laughs> Satisfied wonder after committing with Akmesh. Satisfied after learning the Dwarf Without Limits. Content- oh, Euphoric Duty Inebriation. Health Description. He's currently more rude, currently more fearless, currently more confident. He's currently more shameless, less private, more thoughtless. Uh, it doesn't say, but for some reason, there's tears on her eyeballs, so... Odd. Just one with nature, precisely. I want to put... What do I want to place? No, I want to use the... The thing. Hey, Jago, maybe temperature. Oh, that would make sense. Oh, yeah, because it's kind of like warm in this part of the world. Barley leaf, canaf leaf. Where did the thing go? Where did my cool. Hello? Did my. Oh, there you are. Uh, put this item, wear this item. Eat or drink this item, interact with a different way. Fill it. With stagnant water. Hmm. Maybe not great. Oh wait, that's the one that has wine in it. Oopsies. Wind in the eyes. Hey Sasaplay, what's up? Stuff like that, yeah. Where did you go? Uh, is it this one? Okay, you're full. Well, that's fine. Uh, onwards to this necromancer tower. Which is, like, right here, actually. Wow, cool. <clears throat> oh, cool! The sound's changed. I get the feeling that a Lasher and an Axe Dwarf are not going to be doing very well against... Uh... Undead creatures. What are those? Water Buffalo Bulls? Everything's good. Well, it might not be very soon, so...
Why am I blue? Also, I was under the no, 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 under the impression that usually you get description things like um slightly impaired function. Why is my tissue okay? Why can't I not breathe? Are there like spores in the air here or something? The human necromancer. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I understand. Oh, this is cool. This is top tier ASMR. What blue means? Yeah, there's like this little dot right here. I don't know if you can see it, but when it switches back to uh, MedTob, there's this bluish greenish dot at the bottom right of the. Whoops. Of her sprite. This thing? No clue what that means. So I wonder if this means that, uh, or this is the type of adventure mode. What that means, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, let's just gallivant on in here. Zinc statue of a dwarf. Giant musk ox, gorillas, dwarves, horned owl men, flounders, moose men. A Forgotten Beast, a Twilight Troll, and Jackals. Probably means everything is A-OK. -okay. What does this say? It's just a statue of a dwarf. Uh, this is also a statue of a dwarf. Another statue of a dwarf. Musk Ox. What about this Moose Man? Cool. Forgotten Beast. In Black Bronze. I wasn't aware that places like these had their own ambiance. This just ends, so this is like a utility closet. What is this? Ortho Clay statue of a boogeyman. Brimstone statue of a dwarf. What's up here? Actually, is there anything else I can do in here? No, but I can tell that there's a wall out there. That's probably just the outside wall. Dining room. Would make sense. Greetings. You've already said hello to, to a tear. What's up? Oh? Oh, there's stairs there also. Looks like Medusa visited and played the place like it was a dollhouse. You know, there just happened to be... Ooh, ooh, items. There's nothing to pick up here, but what is this? A course on Inky Sword. Is that the name of this place? Possibly. Uh, it does not say. Uh, I want to pick this up, actually. Can I? Can I pick this up? Or do I have to get off of a tier? Dismount. What is the dismount button, please? I'll just jump again. He jumps out of my flight path. Good. I wonder if by jumping I kind of hurt my... No? Alright, cool. Of course, on Inky Sword, can I not get it? I pick it up. Nice. Stand up. Uh, is that to suggest you're riding around on your horse while very much indoors? Absolutely. That is exactly what it means. What is this? Foundations of Church Whip? I'm just gonna take these. Interesting. Is this up or down? Oh, well, that was down. Because that's down. Going up. Statue of a raccoon man. A dwarf, a dwarf, and a dwarf. There's another table in here. Hello! Who are you? Oh, that's Sajath. There's just another... I don't feel like telling you about it. Well, you don't have to. Oh, there was another stairway. I see. This layout is super goofy. I feel like t things... Okay. Tend to be that way. 
uh, in this game. Can I go up even further? No, I cannot. Only down. Interesting tower. Not even a necromancer. Well, we did find some tables and other things. Can I claim this site for myself? Or would that be a bad idea? What if I read some of these things I picked up? Will I learn the secrets of life and death? Foundations of Church Whip. Read. Mm, it's related to the author's preferences. Authored by Lorbam Testarnokim. Sleep and wait for the necro. I don't know if I can sleep, because it's a sight. Even at the even at the castle, they were like, oh yeah, you can stay the night. And then I tried to sleep, and they were like, nope, you can't be here. <laughs> Overall, the prose is great. Interesting to know. What about a uh, course on Inky Sword? What's that? 132 page guide entitled A Course on Inky Sword, authored by Lorbam Thes Thestarnukim. Uh, it concerns the fortress Inky Sword. The writing is somewhat self indulgent, yet is reasonably serious. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. What does this mean? What is REC? That's a neat little in-game thing that I have no idea what it means. Maybe I'm being recorded by the Necromancer's security cameras. That's it, huh? Really not much in this- oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm prone. Okay, well, not much. Uh, you know what? Let's actually- See if we can sleep. We'll sleep in the tallest room of the tallest tower. On this, what is this? Selenite table. I cannot rest until I leave this site. Cool. Uh, I can't claim the site, I suppose, so... I guess we just leave. Not even a slab with the secrets of life and death or anything. No other entrances to this place. It's not even like a ruin or anything, it's just... Actually, you know what? Since it didn't have a name or anything, maybe it is... Just a ruined fort or a ruined tower. Keep trying to tell me things. Do you have dreams? Tell me a story. I don't dream. Dwarves don't have dreams. Oh, you're afraid. I'm sorry. What's up here on this hill? there be anything? No. There's just a perfectly cut out square quarry and in the middle is a presumably abandoned necromancer's tower. <clears throat> Why an adventure they randomly lie down? Oh, so I think that's like kind of, I don't know if it's a holdover, um, but it's something that also happens in fortress mode when two uh, entities try to exist in the same tile, like passing each other and stuff like that. They, one of them will go prone on the floor for a second, so that the other person can step on top of them. Uh, which is why it's generally a good idea to... Uh, I'm gonna go to that road up there. Well, it's generally a good idea to build multiple tile-wide hallways, so that they don't have to always be stepping on top of each other. I just realized, where the fuck is a tier? There you are. Uh, start a new conversation? No, I would like to... Mount. <clears throat> Let's get up this hill. Can we travel now? Travel back to the main road? No, there are too many obstacles. This hill is too dangerous. There we go. Back to the main road. That looks like a hamlet over there. 
Uh, again, we want to make our way down to the purple thingamabobber. Purple juggled. This place. God, it's in a sinister area. But honestly, I need to find a place where I can, like, hone my combat skills. I need to fight stuff. What are you? Sunny Fields of Counseling, the Land of Chopping. That is a castle. Could always pop in and see what's up with this castle. A different castle. Very courteous. What is this castle made of? Not pure silver. Mica. A little bit less impressive, but, you know, castle is a castle. <clears throat> Where are the doors to said castle? Not here, apparently. Not here either. Well, good for them for, like, building it on a slope so it's hard to attack, I suppose. I somehow think that's not the door either. Let me in! On. Where's the door at? All the way over here, huh? Or not? Hello? This goes down. Wow, okay, the door's like in a ditch. Hello, hammer person. What seems to be the rush? You are all rushing towards this place. Round eyes, human pikeman. I'm doing well, he says. What's up? What's in here? <clears throat> you get up off your selenite table and you notice it's become a dokey birdite table. <laughs> what is this? Treaties on silk authored about lancer labor. Chromite throne after the baroness. Oh, that sounds like a book about revolution. A frail baron. Hello, frail baron. Greetings. I am Cor, Cor Ultra Tattooed. Life is, in a word, torture. Okay, you're one of those people also, aren't you? Um... Make a flattering remark. What's your profession? Probably been a... You were a word, woodcutter of 30 years of your life. And now you're a baron. By the way, a child was, uh, um, hold up. A water buffalo bull attacked my horse, but a child was abducted, like, many years ago by a, a goblin I'm looking for. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? You know where that goblin is? You probably don't know him. Uh, probably on the move or deep underground, but I can't be sure. Nice. So the dialogue set are randomly generated. Ultra Ted, dude. Oh, uh, so the dialogue is... So, you know, like, somewhat procedural. It depends on, like, the dialogue is set in the sense that people will say the same thing a lot of the time. Um, because it's just an insane, like, insanely big thing to try and say that everybody in this world has some kind of semi-unique dialogue. Um, but what they say to you and how they respond to you will depend on the, you know, the people that they are in relationships with. You know, like, who, who are their friends? Who have they spoken with? Have their friends or have known of something happening outside these lands or whatever? Have they spoken with an adventurer previously who told them about a given event or a given other entity? That kind of thing. Um, so it's like, yeah. Generated, yeah, it's not... It's randomly generated in the sense that <clears throat> the world randomly updates as you, you, like, play in the world. But not randomly generated in the sense, you know, that, like... It's an AI or something. I mean, not that this would be an AI AI game or anything like that, but... Oops. Uh, 
Investigate or interrogate. Give, take, personal items, sell debt. Ask about the local ruler. It is probably you, huh? I am Baron. The Honest Society rules Silk authored. I am Baron. We are in the right in all matters. What is your religion, BTW? <laughs> Ask listener to join me in an insurrection. <clears throat> Ask about other groups with a stake in this site. Uh, what do you say? I haven't heard anything like that. Change the subject. Values, weather, natural surroundings. Tell a joke. What about your family? My maternal grandmother was named Usan Dance Scales. In the late winter of 174, she became the Lady of the Council of Crosses. I don't know what that is, but okay. Let me say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my god, there's so many. What's in this chest? Is there anything cool? I cannot look at it. There's nothing to pick up. Is it because I'm on the horse that I can't grab? Or like, look inside the chest? View the cryolite pedestal. It's like I can see that there's things there. This is jump off. Get. Maybe they're just empty, actually. Alright, let's mount. Let's go upstairs, a tier. Wow, who are these folks? Uh, exec high executioner, chief doctor, chef, housekeepers, cheesemaker, dyers. Excuse me. I would like to bring my horse through. Wait, what? So the forgotten beasts and the forgotten beasts. Someone has become enraged. That's cool. Is there a day and night system? There is! Um, and, whoops, normally at night the surroundings would change so that you could tell it's night, but I don't think that's been implemented yet. Because uh, this is this beta went public yesterday. But there's some things that still cannot be done. Done. Dacite statue of a dragonfly and a Beon statue of humans. Just humans. Look at all these people groveling on the floor as I ride a tear long wheels over them. Can your playthrough be over in game years? Uh, like, can it be longer? Like, in can it literally take years in game? Probably, if you survive long enough. What is this? What is this? Like, what is this? What's your name again? Shasath, are you seeing this shit? It's not even a throne room. It's just... It just ends. Uh, but yeah, like CDDA, like, I... I'm sure you can spend, you know, years in here if you manage to not die. Oh god, there's so many of you motherfuckers. Stop talking, please! Please, let me just walk out. There were doors here? Oh wait, no, right, I remember now. It's in beta? Yes, yeah, so adventure mode is, um... That's what I say. So adventure mode initially for this game was conceived as a, like a secondary game mode uh, in which... Oh, you can go down here? What the hell? Uh, to the main fortress mode. So in fortress mode, you know, you build a fortress and you try to survive with some group of dwarves and you become turn into like a citadel, basically. Um, and adventure mode is sort of the counterpart to that where if your citadel is ruined or whatever, or even if it's not ruined, if it's doing well and you just want to go explore it later... Uh, you're born into this world as some adventurer with however, whatever skills. And you go around and basically you do whatever. You kill things, you complete quests, find cool items, uh, build up legends about yourself. And you can go and explore the fortresses that you've made in the same world. Um, but it's been around for a while. Have children get married? I don't think so. I'm, I'm not sure. Actually. Adventure mode is so much more interesting, now it can actually interpret the environment. Yeah, that's true. Um, because, you know, you create this big old world, but for most of it you can't really explore it. You don't really get context for what's happening outside. Um, besides snippets of information that your liaison tells you. So they'll say something like, oh, there was a war that started here, there was a big battle. 
uh, you know, this civilization fell or something like that. Uh, artifacts were moved around and whatnot. D, not escape. Um, but you don't really get any context for that. Adventure mode you do because you're a sing singular person traveling across the world trying to accomplish whatever goal you have in mind. Uh, and you can directly more, more directly interact with the places and entities that live in the world. <clears throat> I wonder if you can die of old age in adventure mode. That would be interesting. God, a world full of poorly designed vanity project. Let's see, travel. This tree is just simply too in the way. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lose it. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna lose it. Where's the road? It must be right here if I'm already like- there it is. Can't go up here. Here we go, back on the road again. I don't think the player can, but NPCs can. Oh, like, get into relationships and stuff like that. Probably. I don't think I can cross over here, can I? That's another castle. Human castle. The Fist of Clans. That's the name of a stream, huh? Is it Hamlet? Okay, yeah, I had a feeling you couldn't. What is this? The Adorable Hill. It's another castle. I've had enough of castles for now. There's not even food in the castles that I can go steal, I feel like. Looks like it's getting to be evening. Can you build and run a shop? You can build in more advanced, fleshed out versions of um, Adventure Mode. Oh, uh, so not in this one. Okay, hold up. Did I toggle something? Environment combat trying to PC. Uh, but yeah, in, in like actual fleshed out versions of adventure mode, you can build your own settlements, basically. Uh, we're actually just going to have to go around that way, huh? Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to stop traveling. I am hungry, though, and tired, apparently. Is that tired? Drowsy, okay. Let's walk into this hamlet. Scoop up some dirty water from the river. And eat some brain. We're gonna have to find some food at some point. I have discovered a river. Eat. I mean, e eat. Uh, let's eat some alligator lung. I'm starting to feel full. Let's eat some water. Oh, do I not have the water from my... No, I do. I licked the cavefish water leather skin. That's great. Is there necromancy? There is necromancy. Um, I don't know if you can use it. Um, in fortress mode, right, you can... Or necromancers do write things like scrolls, codices, and tablets of um, necromancy. And if a person in your fortress reads those things, um, you can sing, eat or drink an item. I'm gonna drink the tears. I feel really full. Well, that's a shame, because now we're super full, tired, and thirsty. Um, so singular dwarves in fortress mode, I know, can become necromancers and raise dead. Uh, as an adventure, I'm not sure if you can. You can, you can also trade, but it's difficult as each sip has their own currency. Yeah, I think trading is currently not implemented in this beta either. Um, I think that's what I saw in the Blind IRL video. I'm gonna see, can I sleep? I can sleep right here. Let's walk closer to the buildings. Uh, dwarf's left foot imprint, probably mine. Stib Knight statue of Issen Flashrooms. Who is that? Uh, the item is an image of Issen Flashrooms, the human, and Sish Poison Spider. Cool. 
The deity of murder and death, depicted as a skeletal female human in Stibnite. Isen Flashrooms is embracing a Sish Poison Spider. The artwork relates to the belief of the human Isen Flashrooms in Sish Poison Spider in the Midsummer of 182. Good for him. Not sure why this is here. Let's overthrow the elves. That would be good, also. For now, our primary well, our primary goal is to go find that necromancer and find his his scroll that he's so or scrolls that he is so yearning for, because the human who is currently in my service wants to do so. Who are you? A human cook. View the human cook. And also figure out where to get more food, because I don't think we can cook either just yet. Uh, we might be able to fish if we could, like, make a spear. Can we craft or anything? Fire projectile. Wait for one instant. Grab items. Remove an item you're wearing. I don't know if I could craft. If we have a spear, we might be able to kill a fish and then, like, pick it up out of the water. And then cook it and eat it or something? Please let me live in one of your dirt houses. Um, wow, that house sucks for real. Is it possible to eradicate a species from existence like can you kill elves or goblins? Yes, it can even happen in the natural world gen. Or in fortress mode. Um, and I think if you do such a thing, well, depending on how the population balance is and works out. Uh, wow, look at all those things. Um, you can affect, like, the... Jay, jump off. Jump into bed. I'm just gonna sleep in this bed. Uh, I will sleep as necessary for eight hours. Good night. Did I sleep? I did not sleep. Sleep. Go ahead. Oh no, is it not working? Is he not sleeping? Uh, the only things that can't be genocided are some supernatural creatures and vermin which just spontaneously appear. Yes, yeah. You can wipe out elves and goblins and kobolds and anything. Other fantastical kinds of, of semi-human uh, creatures. Okay, let's just find sleep until dawn. Go ahead. Or do you not sleep because we're in this place? In which case, let's just go to the outskirts of town. Let's be a hobo. Let's just start a fire here. I make a campfire. Oh, I made it like right on top of the statue, didn't I? <laughs> okay, well anyway, now let's sleep for eight hours. I guess it just wasn't my house. But yeah, and so like, if depending on how the word, world populations play out... Um, I regain consciousness. I am hungry and tired and oh no, why am I blue? Stunned. Oh, because I just woke up. Hello. I am no longer stunned. Uh, I need food, man. <laughs> I need to find food. Let's drink some dwarven wine. I'm starting to feel full. Uh, Kenaf leaf. I lick the Kenaf leaf. Reindeer brain. We're like actually not doing great on food. <laughs> We've eaten a bunch of it. Uh, it will also magically make a new character for you if you want to play a genocided race. Like if you're elves, you can still play an elf. Yeah. Imagine being the last sentient being on Earth because you genocided everything. Someone did that? I think you can do that. Um, you actually can. And yeah, you can. So there, there's like ages in this world, right? Like if you, if certain conditions are met, um, you can like trigger age of human or like age of goblin and stuff like that, right? Which generally happens if like that species is the dominant species in the world. Um, age of elf or something like that. Uh, if too many sentient species die, actually, I think I've only read about this on the wiki. You can enter like the age of death or like the age of the mundane or something like that um and so basically there's no civilizations they're just 
stragglers living in like post-apocalypse essentially um man these towns kind of suck i should go directly left e or west but i do need food is this a castle or is this a fort dwarven fortress let's go to the fortress and see if we can't uh grab some food acquire some food for ourselves uh, but first let's also look at this place the sunny fields of counseling in the lands of chopping <clears throat> i think it was an age of emptiness from all sieves are gone something like that age of emptiness age of death uh oh no what is wrong with me a tear is oh no a tear what happened you okay? I retch. Oh, am I too full? Did I eat too much? Oops. Uh, let's wait. Let's just, like, chill for a second. Wait for one hour. Until I'm no longer vomiting. Now I'm just thirsty and hungry. Do I even have water anymore? I lick the water skin. I lick that water skin, and I lick this water skin. Well, there's no water nearby, so we're gonna have to make our way over to that stream once we're done looking at this tower. Hello! Oh! What is that? Hello! A fat dwarf corpse. Uh oh. Uh, this isn't the haunted biome, is it? It is a haunted biome. Very, very interesting. We're about to have a very bad time, I believe. I mean, at least it looks like it's almost dead. Um, view the peasant. Cannot breathe the vision lost. Everything is gone. His everything is gone. He's basically just a walking skeleton. Basically unbreakable and slow to tire. I don't know how I feel about that. Is there cannibalism? Can you eat a dwarf or an elf? You can probably eat an elf. I don't know if you can eat a dwarf without being sad. Well, hello, sir. Alright, time to learn how the combat system in this game works. Uh, also, what else is there about you? View the peasant. I cannot view anything about your neck moderate muscle rot. I can't view anything about your abilities. At least only elves and goblins can eat sentience. Oh, okay. I wait. I wait my turn. I attack. Uh, A. Capital A. Attack no quarter the fat dwarf corpse, indeed. Strike. Uh, what do I want to strike? Head, neck, let's strike for the neck. Wait, no. This is a problem. We should strike for the body. So if it's reanimated, it'll only be the full body. I don't I don't need it's Okay, neck, head, right upper arm, left upper arm. Oh god. Right foot, left ear, thumbs. Would it be bad if we like chopped all his fingers off and then cut its arm off? Upper front teeth, upper back teeth. Yeah, can we not strike his just, like, chest? Head, neck, upper body. Uh, lower body. Uh... Pfft. Wild strike, precise attack, improved accuracy. Charge attack, multi-attack. Choose another simultaneous action afterwards. Wow. Hands are also a solid choice. I don't know about that one. Because <laughs> they will... They would, uh, definitely come back to life. Hack, steel, battle axe. Strike with the pommel. I wonder if this would do more blunt damage as opposed to... The fat dwarf corpse misses me. I strike it in the lower body with the pommel, bruising the muscle. Uh, Atir kicks the fat dwarf with his front hoof. Good job, Atir. A. Attacking me, charging northeast. 
Uh, wait, no, I should dodge. Competent dodge, south. Attacks me, but I jump away. Uh, Sushath is just doing doing whatever he wants right behind me. Strike. Upper body. Easy strike. Square. The lower body. Uh, heavy attack. Easy, slow, square. Hack. Okay, what has happened? Uh, a tear kicks the dwarf corpse in the left hand, bruising the bone to the sheeple left club. Uh, the force pulls the left wrist. The corpse misses me. He loses hold of his shoes and socks and his ex sheeple trousers. X. I hack him in the lower body with the steel battle axe, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Nice. He falls over and he misses me. Can I like bash his upper body to death? Only if you don't obliterate him. The truth. Yeah, that's the problem because I don't have a hammer or a mace or anything. Um, so it's more very likely that like his hand or foot or something. Or hair, if I make an unfortunately glancing blow, comes back to life and tries to kill me. Can you not learn magic or use a bow? I can use a bow. I don't know if you can. I don't think I can learn magic yet because there's not a magic system in the game. Yet. Um, but one of the next big updates is supposed to be uh, magic, alchemy, like myths and legends update, which also I think re rewrites a bunch of the fundamental stuff that goes on in world gen. So that things like myths and legends and magic systems can affect how the world develops before you play in it. Um, and yeah, you can, you know, and you'll also have somewhat procedurally generated magic systems, if I am not mistaken. Um, which would also be super, super interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, he's recovering from attacking me. I want to strike him in the upper body. Fairly solid. Heavy attack. Slow strike, solid. Hack his upper body. Fat Dwarf Corpse loses hold of the sheep will right glove. A tear kicks the Fat Dwarf Corpse in the right hand, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Not great. Not great a tear. I hack it in the upper body with the steel battle axe, tearing apart the muscle through the X-Pig leather Rex X. It's lodged itself firmly in the wound. The corpse misses a tear. Corpse misses a tear. Cool. Uh, Suthash is still just chilling. I'm going to try and hit you again. But this time, let's kick you with my right foot. Uh, a tear kicks it, bruising the muscle. The force pulls the neck. Okay, I kick the fat dwarf corpse in the upper body, bruising the muscle and shattering the right floating ribs. He punches a tear, but the attack glances away. Yeah, I mean, horse hoof is probably pretty adorable. Let's kick him again in the upper body. Uh, I kick it, bruising the muscle. Oh no, he punches a tear, bruising the fat. How dare you punch a tear, you motherfucker. A tear, trample. Attack. Uh, what if I attack his head? What if I just bash it? Strike iron shield. Oh, wait. Scratch. Bite. Yeah, I don't want to bite. Uh, let's do that. Smash his head. Uh, with my iron shield bruising the muscle, he kicks the corpse in the head bruising the muscle. He misses a tear. Very good. Upper body. I don't want to hit his neck. Because... Scratch, multi-attack. Let's do it again. Uh, with the iron shield. Man, we're just like beating the fuck out of this poor corpse. Poor, as if I give a shit. Strike uh, the head. Am I not holding my weapon anymore? No, I'm holding my axe, right? Oh, let's punch him in the head. <laughs> We're just abusing this this corpse. There's nothing it can do. Neck. I don't want to bite a corpse. That sounds nasty. How about we scratch? Oh, it was lodged in the wound. Okay, right. I maintain possession of the battle axe. Uh, he da da da. Sushath pets the fat dwarf corpse. Excuse me? What are you even doing, brother? Uh, wait, what is he doing? Is he recovering from attacking the horse? Strike. Uh, upper body, neck. Let's neck. 
with the battle axe. Okay, we've struck down the corpse. Very good. What do I want to do? So, there's a corpse, mutilated corpse. His neck, which is apparently severed itself from his body without decapitating him. Uh, I don't want this hand to stay here. Can I set that on fire or something? Ignite south? No, because there's no grass. Also hungry. <laughs> don't forget to destroy the hand. Yeah, I'm, how do I destroy the hand? Conflict with a tear? No. What is this? Uh, lower body of his... Oh, so this is his upper body. And then this is his lower body. And that's his hand. Can I smash it or something? Get... I can get the hand. Destroy, attack... Throw an item. I found some small creatures. I found a worm. That's cool. What can I do? That's the quest log, which is not active. Cancel. I don't want to hurt a tear. Shoot. I am not yielded. I have a weapon drawn. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. Can I destroy it? I can't attack it. I lie on the ground. <laughs> I stand up. Hmm. Inventory. Can I interact? I want to interact with... Where is it? Let's move over here and interact. Or do I just pick it up? get the right hand. I pick it up and I put it in my backpack. I interact with my hand. I can throw it. That's probably the best we're gonna get, so let's pop inside. Black bronze statue of dwarves. Oh, what is this? Electrum statue of dwarves. Hornblend statue of a forgotten beast. All right, let's look upstairs. What are these? Cobaltite display case. That is hella fancy, honestly. What's in this? Chicken leather bag. Seems empty. I wonder if I can start a campfire and... Okay, literally this is it. That's it? Necromancer? There are, like, houses and stuff here? <laughs> Wait. That's not the Necromancer Tower. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hey, Isu, what's up? Welcome. We're, we've killed a dwarf corpse, and I, I don't know how to get rid of its hand and destroy it. Let's make a campfire. Can I not make a campfire here? Cool. I guess I just have this hand in my possession. Let's get rid of it though. <laughs> I don't I don't like it. Throw. What do I want to throw? This. <laughs> cool. I never want to see you again. Uh let's mount a tear and start writing. If I can. Hello. Excuse me, mount. It's cozy, indeed. I have an undead. I don't have an undead. I have a normal companion. I uh, I went into another necromancer tower, though, and there was no, like, slab of secrets of life and death. Um, so right now we've just, you know, wandered upon one person's barrow, I suppose. Oh my god. Oh my god. The okay. We're going to look at the others and see if there's any more undead creatures to deal with. Like that one, for example. I see you. A broad dwarf corpse. View the peasant. I've got no items. Trouble breathing, vision lost. Is there another... Okay, two, three... 
two, three is starting to get a little bit uh, dicey. One, two, okay. Muscular dwarf corpse. I don't want to fuck with those guys, like, at all. Type of weapon you're using? I have an axe. Throw the hand. Yeah, I have a, a steel axe, so not ideal for dealing with corpses. Now, a tear! A tear, you dumb ass! A tear, you fucking bitch! Oh god. This is probably the end of our uh, adventure, huh? <laughs> Veron, did you need hammers? Yeah. Our, our dude is um, a lasher, so that's not great. I'm in a martial trance, so, okay. How are you doing, a tear? Are you like. I can't even check how you're doing. Uh, punches. He's just being bruised. He's, like, kicking the shit out of the dwarf, which is fine, because the dwarf is on the floor. Okay. Uh, but now, more of these motherfuckers are showing up. Not great. I went the wrong direction. I think. A tear jumps away. But a tear is surrounded. I am... what am I? Am I nauseous? Uh-oh. Okay, Slishath is beating the... uh-oh. Where did a tear go? Oh, he's like stomping the shit out of him. Oh my god, hello bot. Fuck off. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. What happened? Yeah, the, the horse started a fight with the undead. He saw an undead and was like, oh my god. I check. Yeah, no, no worries. I'll just delete these stupid little bots. Uh, what is this? Is that... Hungry, thirsty... Oh, no, that's martial trance. Okay, cool. I'll just hop up and uh, level up my axe dwarf. Bruising the fat. Okay, cool. A tear jumps away. Good job, a tear. Good boy. Uh, Broad dwarf punches Sathash, bruising the fat. I wish I could see how Sushath is doing. Uh, but we're just going to beat the shit out of this dwarf instead. Uh, no, I don't want to start the comp... Excuse me? Attack this guy. Strike. Upper body. Hack. It's dead. Uh, he strikes the dwarf corpse in the head with his iron whip and the injured part is crushed. Nice. That doesn't mean much, though. <laughs> okay, cool. Mission are these hacked accounts? They're four-year-old pl plus accounts. They might be. It's possible. If things start looking down, it might be worth sprinting into the tower in case there's a slab for me to read. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god, wait, did you just- did I not just ban you, you stupid- fuck off. There we go. Yeah, it's possible. Don't move, I need you to attack. See the tall human corpse. Upper body. Heavy attack. Strike. Uh, you hack the tall human corpse in the upper body with your steel battle axe and the injured part is cloven asunder. Uh, okay, <laughs> the tall human corpse has been struck down. We did it! Uh, did we accidentally chop off some body- Oh, hello. Never mind. We're not done. I'm not attacking a tear. I'm attacking this guy. Muscular dwarf corpse. Uh, charging southwest. Well, he's not gonna hit me. Why don't we block? Block punch with iron shield. The shot is blocked. Very good. Kill him. Quite possibly abandoned accounts or something. Or just ancient bots. Can I turn my horse into another animal or even a dwarf? I don't think I can turn them into something else. Um, if they die I can, and I learn necromancy, I can probably bring them back. Upper body, normal strike, heavy attack. Muscular Dwarf Corp misses me. Oh, did he like... Oh, I jumped away. Okay. Uh, I have left the Martial Trance. Unfortunate. <clears throat> but it seems like everyone else is doing alright. Oh, hang on. The attack glances away. A shame. A tear charges at the Dwarf Corpse. He collides with the Dwarf Corpse, and they are knocked over and tumble backwards. Nice job, a tear. Is there potion crafting? No, potion crafting would come in with uh, alchemy and magic as well. Uh, which again would be a future... It should be the next, quote-unquote, next update. Saying next update doesn't really mean much 
um, because the time between updates, well, it used to be quite long. I don't know. Now that there are multiple people working on the game, it might not be so long. Punches a tear. Okay, at least you, you can't stab a tear. That's good. Upper body. V. Hack. The steel battle axe has lodged firmly in the wound. Very good. Uh, it glances away. It's likely to two to three years out. It depends, yeah. It depends how, how much... How much, you know, Putnam can... Well, I mean, Putnam's already, like, refined a lot of the game, I feel like. Um, so, like, you know... The brothers working together have already, and, and Putnam have already made some big leaps in terms of performance and things like that. Um, in terms of new content is the real question. How is that going to work out? The game seems like the, I can li do literally anything potential. Pretty much. That's basically what this game is. Necromancy stream, imagine. Um, you can do a lot of stuff, right? Like, you can... I mean, right now this is adventure mode, so we're just jumping out and basically killing stuff that are... No, killing stuff that comes in contact with us. Uh, can I see what is, like, the most... Okay, I hit it with the shield. Can I pull my weapon out, actually? Uh, if I wrestle... No. Grab with iron shield. What? <laughs> when the kill god update releases, I'm in. <laughs> uh, grab. No, strike... Normal strike, very square. I can strike them in the eye. Or in their toes. Or in their teeth. You can kill pretender gods. I think, yeah, the closest thing you can get to god in adventure mode is, like, killing some kind of angelic type of beings, if I remember correctly. Oh, let's hit you in the head. Let's just, uh, punch. Let's punch you in the head. Ah, uh, what happened? Blah 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 Punches a tear. Poor a tear. There are supernaturals that pretend to be gods and goblin and human sieves. You can target specific teeth. Yeah, that's, um... Uh, you know, part of the intricacy of this game. This simulation, right? You can target right upper arm, right lower arm, hands, legs, upper legs, right foot, left foot, eyeballs, ears, Noses. I don't know why it's an elephant nose. The throat. Ooh, that's cool. Individual fingers on each hand. Uh, mouth, tongue, left cheek, right cheek, eyelids, lips, teeth. You can also, uh, if I pick wrestling, grab, for example, with my right upper arm, their lower body, their upper body, their feet, their first fingers, second toe, whatever, whatever, whatever. I can wrestle their... I can wrestle their, their body... Oh, I can grab. The, I can try and grab my steel battle axe, which has been lodged in their wound, with my right upper arm. Uh, let's not do that. Uh, you can start with the, it's a start. If you target the lower body, your attacks have a chance to castrate the enemy. Oh yeah, you can land gelding blows. It's great. Grab his, grab his dick and twist it. I don't think I can grab that. But if it, if my my axe happens to hit them there. It might not be great. I maintain possession of the steel battle axe. Great. Maintain or recover? Can I attack again? With my axe? C, no quarter. A, strike. Upper body. Okay, we can hack. That's heavy. Oops, I don't know what I did. Oh no, what the fuck? How dare you? Oh, I hit him with the flat of the axe. That does not... <gasps> Wait! Hitting with the flat might work. <laughs> Isu, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> Automod, please. Like, that seems like a pretty reasonable thing for Automod to deal with. Uh, characters don't have genitals. Babies just kind of appear. The leading fan theory is spores. Dwarven spores. Attack. Like, yeah, maybe we can... Difficult strike, upper body. Let's go with the head. <clears throat> if I slap with the flat edge, maybe that's more likely to be uh, crush damage as opposed to slash damage. So maybe it won't. Uh, what happened? You moved? The muscular dwarf corpse misses me. 
I'm just like bonking them like with the flat of my axe. Can you start a religion? I don't think so. You can. You had you 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 can join religions? Question mark. I'm not sure. I don't know if you can join religions or change religions from the one you start with. Well, let's hit this bastard in the neck. I don't care anymore. Heavy attack neck. Now you're too far away. A tear collides with the dwarf corpse. They are knocked over and tumble backwards. Okay, now he's just like chasing him off. Oh no, what the fuck? He kicks a tear in the right eye, tearing the skin. You son of a bitch. Oh no. Tear in the left leg, but it glances. Okay. You bastard. Uh, oh no. What the fuck? I like the mods unbind all this man's key bindings. You can join religions, you can pray to gods, you can get bounties and boons from said gods, etc. Oh, yeah, that also reminds me of another fun thing you can do. Um, if you, like, topple statues of gods and stuff. Uh, yeah. You, motherfucker, I need to kill you, because you're gonna hurt my poor horsey. You're charging north? Okay, that's fine. Uh, easier strike, upper body. Hack. Dwarf corpse misses me. I've lost possession of my axe once again. It's lodged in the wound. Uh, can I wrestle, wrestle you to the ground? Right upper arm. Uh, grab your head with my right upper arm. Oh, Jesus. I maintain possession of the steel battle axe. Cool. He's knocked over and tumbles backwards. Correct. Respect the statues in the shrine. <laughs> uh, regaining balance attacking me. Is he, though? Let's block. Block his kick with my iron shield. The shot is blocked. Very good. Uh, recovering from attacking me. Let's continue wrestling. Or, actually, no. Let's attack for real. Somehow I'm going to attack. Cut his head with my axe. <laughs> I hack the muscular dwarf corpse in the head with my steel battle axe. And the severed part sails off in an arc. The muscular dwarf corpse has been struck down. Excellent. What is this on the floor? It's his head. I pick it up and I need to- oh, there's- I forgot, okay. I forgot that there was a whole horde of zombies. Oh, you guys got right in my path. I'm gonna throw the head at this guy. No quarter. Throw it at that dwarf corpse. <laughs> I think it hit. Uh, did it? What one has been bruised? Punches a tear. A tear charges. Very good. Knocks down. Very good. Misses a tear. Very good. It falls over. Excellent. Uh, Sathash lasts on firmly. Very good. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, oh shit. Well, Sushath is, Sushath is not doing very good. Um. In fact, you could say Sushath is doing quite badly. Punches Sushath in the left foot. But then, the force of the punch bends his left ankle, tearing apart the muscle and bruising the bone and tearing apart the muscle and bruising the bone. A ligament has been torn and a tendon has been torn. Oh Jesus, he gets scratched. The force twists his right hand. Oh fuck, tearing apart his muscle on the wrist. Yikes, he drops the iron shield. Well, he's still holding his whip, so that's good. Uh, I... Oh, there's two of these guys right here. Hmm. Two muscular dwarf corpses, huh? I don't know what more I can do except try and attack the head with heavy attack. <sighs> Misses me. Sussath in, in the right foot, bruising the skin. The muscular dwarf corpse has been struck down. Okay, that's one. He pulled a Balrog on the way down. 
Uh, hey, stop beating on Sasath, you asshole. V A. It's dead. Uh, hack it in the head, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Gruesome wounds. This does not scare me. I feel like it should because you're. Like, look at you. Uh, where is he at? Vengeful when joining a conflict, he experienced trauma. Covers slowly. Bleeding, slight pain, ability to stand lost, ability to grasp somewhat impaired. Well, that's not good. <laughs> if he can't stand, that's pretty bad. That means he can't follow us. Uh-oh, is the tear also fucked up? That would not be great. Weak, frail, no health problems. Got bruising, and that's about it. Okay, well, a tear's not chill, but, hmm. Check if there are more. Yeah, I don't think... Hopefully that was all of them, but I can't see over there without climbing up the slope. Oh, I can just zoom in and out like this. This is just another burrow, I think, also. So, like, that's not great. Weak fail, but put up a better fight than two trained humanoids. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, these are still burrows. This is, this is not even, like, the main tower. Well, Slushath, what's the play here, my man? Can I put Slushath on a tier? Because if you can't stand, we're kind of fucked. <laughs> like, I know basic health, but I don't think I can health you at all. <laughs> bruised tendon, bruised ligament. His ankle is a torn tendon and a torn ligament. If he's going to keep following us, he's basically just going to have to crawl on the ground. Like, there's no way around it, I don't think. But he's crawling. Okay. Good job. A tear, what are you doing? He's determined. Yeah, he's, he's crouching on the ground. Oh no, he's walking again. No, he's crouching. What's this? Statue, South Peter statue of a dwarf and a Salt Peter statue of a gigantic tortoise. What's this? What's in this bag? In this alpaca wool bag? Nothing. I cannot just stand by. There is no need to feel vengeful. But you felt vengeful when you joined that existing conflict, so... A tear? Oh! He's fighting more corpses! Where are you, a tear? Wait, where is a tear? Oh, over there. Okay. I did not even notice. This is my fight too. This might require an answer. Oh fuck! Wait, was that bottom left? Uh oh. Well, a tear's liver is getting... Okay, a tear's doesn't give a shit. A tear's beating the fuck out of that dwarf. Oh, it's all the way- oh, it's- what the hell? Who are these guys? Uh-oh! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Sashath, whip the shit out of that dwarf corpse, please. <laughs> oh god. I think this may be the end. Very- quite possibly. Uh, I'm just expecting some of those those heads from up there to also start reanimating. Uh, attacks the but he jumps away. I'm bruising the skin through the large bronze left gauntlet. Oh no. That's so fucking many. Sashath is still putting up a pretty decent fight. Like, honestly, that gauntlet is, like, doing work. Uh, punches such as bruising the skin, bruising the fat. Okay, not the worst. Oh no, he's like kind of not happy though. Uh, strike, head. 
very strong with my axe. Okay, one corpse is dead. <laughs> Heads aren't a big deal since they're slow. Ah, okay, so maybe we might be able to outrun them still. Yeah, but that head sailed off in an arc. Attack that muscular dwarf guy. V. A. He's been struck down. Man, I get the feeling that Sashath is really... Slight pain, trouble breathing, ability to stand loss, ability to grasp somewhat impaired. Okay. Well, he doesn't need the shield. He can draw aggro, and I'll just... Cut these guys' heads off. Uh, D, head, V, A. Uh, lodged firmly in the wound, twists the neck. Okay, cool. Uh, the broad. Oh no! I get bitten through my blue jay leather glove. How dare you damage my blue jay leather glove? V, A. Muscular board punches a tear. A tear will survive, I think. The tears dancing around that <laughs> one, God. Yeah. Ah, uh, bruising the muscle and bruising the whatever. Okay, I need to. Recovering from attacking me. Lower body. Heavy. Kick. Uh, attack the tear, but he jumps away. I kick him, bruising the muscle. Punches Sashath, bruising the skin. The shot is blocked with the iron shield. Very cool. Strike, uh, lower body again, V. If I can somehow- uh, he misses me. Uh, I maintain possession of the axe. Okay, very cool. That was a lot of combat that just happened. What? Punches a tear, the force twists the neck, tearing apart the skin- No, you motherfucker! How dare you. A tear jumps away. Oh god, a tear bites the broad dwarf corpse in the head, tearing the muscle, and latches on firmly. Nice job, a tear. Uh, which guy, which guy? Broad dwarf corpse? Muscular, I think, first. Muscular is probably stronger and a bigger threat, so let's hack his head off. Nice. Yeah, because he would have punched the crap out of a uh, Sashath. Uh, okay, his head gets cut off and goes sailing off in an arc. He kicks the broad dwarf corpse. Okay, cool. Good job, Atir. One more devastating slash to the head. You're still alive, and it's lodged in the wound. Atir is fucking wild. <laughs> it's crazy. He's just like kicking the shit and trampling all these corpses. They're like wrestling each other. Imagine trying to fight, like, wrestle a horse. I guess it's an undead, so he, like, doesn't really know what's happening. Shield bash. Oh no, a tear looks sick! Oh, that's not good. Please don't look sick, a tear. Strike. Head. Uh, let's kick with our left foot. Maybe I can regain. Oh no, a tear vomits. He's not doing too well. I think this calls for a full retreat. I th I think we can kill this guy. And then retreat. I don't know if they'll be able to recover though, is the problem. The two of these, or two companions. Head. Strike with the shield. Uh, attack glances away. Force pulls the neck. If I strike you in the neck with my shield, will that, like, dislodge the... I don't know, bruising the muscle and bruising the upper spine's bone through the yak leather dress. Not not much going on there. What if I wrestle you? Uh, grab with iron shield. Why not? Let's grab your head with my iron shield. You grab the broad dwarf corpse for the head with the iron shield. The broad dwarf corpse kicks a tear in the head. You motherfucker. Oh no, a tear. Poor tear. Continue grabbing with my iron shield, but now grab the neck. I wish I had possession of my axe. Punch. Head. Heavy punch. 
Okay, tier misses. Remember when I first got started, the Stratton Adventure mode was to start as a legendary wrestler and grab the neck and pinch it apart. I wonder, can you grab the neck? Let's grab it with the upper arm and see if we can do that. Grab the neck with the right upper arm. <clears throat> a ligament has been torn and a tendon has been torn. Well, I mean, we're not cutting anything, right? So... A uh, release? No, I don't want to release. I think they made pinching only really work on the extremities now. Ah, uh, I see. How about left upper arm, also the neck? <laughs> Punches a tear. Okay, and now we're just wrestling this dwarf with like. <laughs> Imagine like someone trying to touch their elbows together, but like the head is right in between them, right? Like that's all you're doing. <laughs> Strike. We got nothing. Can I strike? I wonder how this is going to work. Their head is between my upper arms, and now I'm going to kick them with the right foot in the head. Loses hold of the sock. How can I regain uh, possession of my axe, please? Why don't we grab with the right lower arm? Let's grab your head. I grab them by the head. Uh, A. Attack. Wrestle. Now with my left lower arm. Let's grab their back tooth. That seems like it would be... F <laughs> You're choking out an unbreathing corpse. All, all four of my limbs... Well, not all four of my limbs. All parts of my arm are just somehow wrestling this guy. Uh, very square. D. <laughs> Easy. Square punch. I punch the dwarf crabs in the head. This is going to be uh, the longest battle. Upper body. Anything. Just do anything. The broad dwarf latches on firmly. Oh no! He bit a tear! You son of a bitch. How could you? Let go of my axe. Man, this this thing is really heavy bleeding, huh? Heavy battle axe stuck in head, vision lost. It can't even stand or grab anymore. We're just wailing on it. Grab with iron shield the head. The broad dwarf corpse punches the tear in the left front hoof. The attack passes right through. What does that mean? If it was bad, it would have probably have said collapses into gore or something, right? So we're probably fine. Um, uh, what do I do? Let's let go of his head. Right lower arm? Yeah, right lower arm. Release the grip. Attack. Head. With a kick. Uh, the broad dwarf bites a tear. Do you bastards? Very so gotta hit the bed. Look forward to seeing the IRS on Footopia Kingdom. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Rocket Cat. I'll see you on hopefully Saturday for some drawing. Uh but yeah, get some get some good rest. Get some good sleep. Oh god, what is happening? Return my axe, please. You That's a tooth? Uh, I strike him in the neck, bruising the muscle and bruising the upper spine's bone. Oh, that's his bone. Uh, bites a tear in the neck. Oh, god damn it. Knees weak, arms are heavy, palms sweaty, <laughs> tear upsetty. Kicks the corpse in the upper left back teeth. Good job, a tear. <clears throat> tricky, stri tricky strike, can't connect. I can't imagine why. Not because I'm, you know. <laughs> Twisted like a spider around this corpse's head. Uh, it's just attack normally with the shield through the arm. Oh god, he just keeps biting a deer. <laughs> He's got undead gore on his feet already. What about the lower body? Can I knock him down? Well, he's already on the floor, so like, what's the point? Bites a tear in the hoof. 
Mateer, I'm gonna need you to, to stomp on his skull or something. Like, please. Oops. A, A, D, kick. Jesus. Um, the body, low, oops, no. A, 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 lower body. Heavy kick, let's do a heavy kick. Finally, Christ! I kick it in the lower body with my right foot and the injured part collapses. The dwarf corpse has been struck down. I'm still in possession of my axe, correct? I just need to know. Yes. Cool. Man, we're not doing so hot right now. A tear is definitely running off towards another corpse as we speak. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Terrified while in conflict? Yeah, you can't stand. Can you walk, though? Probably not. Okay, no, Atir is just vomiting, I think. I can't believe it. We defeated those guys, somehow. Uh, and there's two more up there. Yeah, maybe fucking around in this place was not the play. Let's leave the way we came in. Atir, no. Atir, come back. Okay, so Shas has, like, caught his breath, I think. What do you feel? Description? Vengeful? Okay, maybe he's just winded. That's what was up. Can you hide him and ride him and have the buddy follow? Yes, I can do that. I would much rather he rides on a tier, though. Because uh, then he didn't have to worry about... Oh. A tier? You good? He's vomiting. Uh, what does this mean? Probably just injured. Can I pet a tear to make him feel better? Interact. I want to interact with a tear. View, make a campfire, ignite grass. I can start a conversation with him. He's alarmed. Hello. Great to have a friend like you. Not doing... not doing so hot. And, of course, none of those corpses had weapons or anything, so it's not like we can... ...steal anything from them. Oh, he's not doing well. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to eat my, uh, prepared reindeer brain. Whoops. While it's here vomits. Oh, poor guy. Okay, yeah, I can't- I can't ride him. He's doing- he's having the worst time right now. Oh no, you're going off to fight somebody, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, cool, we're back in- Okay... He rolls away, good job. Real Dark Souls strats. Uh, not being able to- he scrambles away, not being able to stand up at all. Oh fuck, you might be dead, Sushast. Um, brrr, tearing apart the skin on Sushast's neck, but the dwarf falls over. He's gaming. Uh, bruising the fat through the bronze leather gauntlet, bruising the fat, that's okay. Bruising the skin. As long as he can still hold his weapon. Oh, Christ. Are you still retching, a tear? Because we might have to leave. <laughs> you the peasant. Can't stand. These guys are slow, so that's cool. Ability to grasp somewhat impaired. Trouble breathing. Upper left arm. Upper spine nervous tissue. Light breathing. Yikes. There are five of these guys that I can see. Oh god. Well, he asked for glory and death, so... 
I'm losing the fat, tearing the skin, I'm breathing the skin. Right hand, but the attack is deflected, he rolls away. <sighs> Never mind, actually. He's a lost cause. <laughs> a ligament torn and a tendon has been torn. Bites Sushat in the right eye, tearing it. Yeah, he's a, he's a goner. Goodbye. Oh no, a tear is still uh, retching. Somehow Sushas is just tanking that shit like a boss. A tear. We gotta go, a tear. Oh my god. They're just wailing on him. Oh, oh god. The attack is deflected, bruising the fat. Oh. He might live because of his armor, but I don't think it's gonna be much of a life. So... <laughs> Atira, I need you. I need you right now to, like, be a legend. You're not being a legend, okay? Can I lead you away? <laughs> this way, Atir, please. <laughs> Honey leather, honey badger leather dress breaks. Oh my god! It's here. It's here. We just gotta cut our losses and 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 run. He's biting. He gains possession of the helm. Oh no! Gains possession of the long gazelle leather skirt. Breaks the grip. Oh no! They took off his bronze mail shirt. He's fucked. He's like super dead. Sushath has been struck down. Atir. Atir, come on. Yeah, essays about how he's getting rolled. Atir, I need you to run. Atir, please. I know you're vomiting, but please. I can't help you, Atir. They're not in, in vision. Night is falling. I hate that. We've been fighting these dudes all day long. Uh, what are these over here? Are these grasslands, wilderness, hillocks? Okay. We might uh, be able to camp out there if we can get the hell away from this place. A tear, a tear, please. I can't get caught out here on this haunted biome in the middle of the night. Or is it comma? Wait 10, 10 spaces? I think. Does that even work? It does, okay. A tear! A tear, please! Well, at least, you know, I did... Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. A tear! A tear! A tear, let's go! Let's get out! Come on! Alright. Add a tear. Uh, movement options. Let's, uh, gallop. Let's gallop the hell out of this place. I may need to be a little bit more proficient in axe dwarvery. Uh, and or have a party with more than one person in it. To get the fuck... Or to be able to handle stuff like this. Uh, okay. These guys are up here. These guys are down here. I don't know what that is. So let's just go to the road. Towards the right. Oh, actually, let's stop here because I need water. I've discovered a river. Great. At least I only have to drink. Oh, what do I want to eat or drink? Can I drink water from the nasty, nasty stream? I drink the water. I drink the water. I drink the water. I'm starting to feel full. Wonderful. All right, let's get out of here. At least in this weird hillocks, I can check, chill out and sleep. You'd have been PG if you picked up a war elephant. Uh, probably, actually. <laughs> I can't think of much else that would, you know, properly kill and maim and just completely... What's the word for it? splatter a corpse across 
nearby surfaces than a war elephant. I wouldn't have been able to have uh, iron armor though, so that's kind of a a killer, a mood killer. Is there anywhere I can steal food from here? I don't know what that is. No significant structures, a hillock, civic mound, drinking mound, drinking mound. Let's go to the drinking mound. Maybe this one will actually have drinks. What is this a statue of? Rith Entranced Oil. The item is an image of Rith Entranced Oil, the dwarf, and Kimberlite. They are making a plaintive gesture. The artwork relates to the moment when Cheryl Umberbrunch cursed the dwarf vampire Rith Entranced Oil to prowl the night in search of blood in Crested Wind in 123. Very cool. I will say, though, uh, Atir did do a damn good job of stomping the crap out of these zombies. I'm doing well. What is this magnite magnetite statue? <laughs> Promotion position of sacred dream. Okay, cool. Hello. Is there drinks? I heard there were drinks. Got a table. A cabinet. Can I can I observe the cabinet? View the cabinet? Clothes. Clothes and no food. Nice. <clears throat> magmite statue. The random hatch. Yeah, they just live in this hatch on the ground. This can't really be the... Okay, I can't travel, but I also can't look up, so... This can't be all of the... the drinking mound, can it? What have you got? Items? That might be all of the drinking mound. Let's go here instead. This is like literally the same spot I was just at, is it not? Oh my god, game. <laughs> not gonna lie, it is kind of cool. Yeah, it's just a little bit empty, you know? There's a table, a bed, and nothing. What's up? Where are the drinks? How does one acquire- okay, you know what? I'm starting to get the feeling that in order to actually obtain food or drink of any quality, we need to go to a dwarven fortress or a mountain home. Uh, so... Maybe let's do that. Let's move to that fortress just up north. Gotta head out. Good luck on your adventure. Thank you. We're probably gonna get to that fortress and then maybe eat and then call it. Uh, so don't worry, you're not gonna be missing too much tonight. Eat your horse. I mean... <laughs> not... Not that it's not an option, but it's not a one I would rather follow up on right now. <laughs> Good source of protein. Okay, where's the mountain home? Or the fortress over here? Those look like... Ah, it's up direct north. Somewhere in these mountains, I assume? would it be? Or is it like hidden? Do I have to find it? Okay, I'm like right on where it should be. You ever hear the joke about the pig that saved people from a fire? I have not. Please elaborate. Oh, uh, shit. Will it zoom in when I get close to the fort? Or... Ah! Over here, you say. Or is that just mountains? I think it's there. Alright, let's hop out of travel mode. <clears throat> what are we looking at? Must come down from the mountains before I can travel. Oh, great. A mysterious, playful mountain. Radir Beruthakom. That's kind of a cool name. Oh my god, I... <laughs> what is this? This looks like a sheer drop-off. Oh, because that's... Maybe the entrance of... No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> well, we know the fortress is around here somewhere. 
Just gotta find the entrance. Probably not the worst since it's not actually getting dark because of nighttime. I wonder if this will also be a hole in the ground, or will it actually be doors? Oh, was that a rock or was that stairs? It was a rock. Cool. Is it just in this entire area, maybe? D. D, 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 okay. We should try sticking to the road for a little bit. Oops, that's the row. Where could this fortress be? This music is so good. What is that? A wolverine. Okay. That's not too bad. A tear kicks the chinchilla in the lower body. Good job. You just abused a, a poor helpless animal, a tear. This isn't good. We're tired and we're in the middle of the mountains trying to find this fucking place. Oh? Did I see something? No, it was just some rocks. I thought it was a staircase. <laughs> the guy moves into a new house and he greets his neighbors. As the neighbor is showing the guy around, the pet pig comes in the room. The pig is missing three legs and is rolling itself along on a skateboard. The guy says, why, your pig's really injured. What happened? And the neighbor tells him. A few years ago, the pig saved the family from a burning building. He kept running back in to save more people. Oh, says the guy. So he got hurt badly enough that you had to amputate the, amputate the legs? Oh no, says the neighbor. And then he talks about how the pig saved his kid from drowning in ice cold water. So you had to get the legs amputated because of frostbite? Once again, the neighbor says no, and he tells the guy. About the time the pig saved his other kid from a bear attack. Oh, so the bear got him. No, no, says the neighbor. But you don't need a pig that's special all at once. Oh my god. That poor pig. That's so messed up. It's kind of funny that it implies, like, oh yeah, you know, we just got the pig to begin with because, uh... Wait, where are we? Because we wanted to eat it, but it was also a hero, so we just didn't eat it. You don't need a horse as special as a deer all at once. Yeah, you slowly have to, you know, chop off the legs and eat them. It is nighttime, I am hungry. I'm gonna eat my... Prepare reindeer brain. As I continue searching for this godforsaken fortress, which supposedly ex supposedly exists out here. Okay, not here though. So we need to go back this way.
And it's not by the road either. But we still gotta look for an entrance or a hatch or some doors or something. <clears throat> the tear collapses and falls to the ground from overexertion. Okay. The tear stands up. I think it's time for us to rest. Hey there, buddy. Tear stands up. Let's rest at this rock here. Make a campfire. I know you're hungry, buddy. Uh, we're gonna sleep in the mountains, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Z? Sleep. Uh, eight until dawn. I wish we could have found found that fortress. I regained consciousness. Whoa. Hello. How are you doing, Atir? How are you doing today, this day, after you've been bitten by corpses? Uh, afraid after experiencing trauma. Okay, he's just hurt. Not the worst. I wonder if a tear counts for warding off monsters. That's a good question. Mount. I'm no longer stunned and I'm out the tear. I feel like it would make sense, but at the same time, he's not like that strong. Like, I feel like, you know, some creature of the night could easily kill a tear. Or interrupt us as we sleep. the wolverine we saw earlier. We just gotta go up again, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't really think about it, because so far we've slept in the wild three times or so, and it's not, not been that bad, because we haven't been attacked by anyone. We're still in the general vicinity of wherever this fortress is. I guess we'll know if FPS starts dropping, maybe, that we're heading towards the right direction. I think this is the first time without a companion. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, oh, because do companions ward off? Like, boogeymen and stuff? That might make sense. Like, a tear is treated as a companion. Or some, you know, if you have a mount. Or a pet. Oops. <clears throat> door, 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 come on. I'm just looking. FPS is starting to drop a little bit. Not in this direction, though. Come on, I need to see my people, my dwarven people. So this is the kind of journey that the migrants go through when they come to your fortress, huh? I guess without a horse, though, or axe, or, like, good clothing. Oh no, a tear! Over oh, he's been running! No wonder. Okay, I'm stupid. Uh, how will the tear move? Crawl. Uh, we're also gonna jump off of a tear. Let's wait for a little while. Let's wait for an hour. Buffaloes! A tear! No! Don't attack the buffaloes! Oh my god. A tear! 
come back. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Don't, don't hit him. Actually, you know what? Jesus Christ. Chubby Egg out. Tears knocked over. Oh my god. You moron. Maybe we can get food. Uh, if we kill this cow, but oh my god, he's so fast. I don't know where the fuck he went. <laughs> Violence is the only life he knows now. There you are, Jesus Christ. No, come back! Oh my fucking lord. You were just collapsing from overexertion, and now you're just... What the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with this horse? <laughs> he's the most bloodthirsty horse. <laughs> Makes a dwarf proud. Oh my god, where the fuck are you? Now I'm stuck in the mountains with no a tear, no one food, one prepared brain. There you are, Jesus Christ. Fucking control yourself. I'm gonna lead you. That way you won't get tired from overexertion. Alright, where's this this thing? Where's this place at? The least you could do is like look for some some steps or something. 248, 240, okay, maybe we're headed in the better direction now. Maybe it's just because there's a bunch more trees. Found his moment to escape, but then he came right back. What a loyal companion. Which apparently doesn't matter to, to me because I hate loyalty. Or I don't value loyalty. Oh, oh. 317. Okay. Seems like we're no longer in the mountains. Hair boarded. I wonder if there's general guidelines for searching for fortresses or their entrances. Like they'll be next to brooks and streams and things like that given that a lot of people some seem to play that way. <clears throat> oh look, there's the road. We slept in the mountains and now we found the road again. Accurate representation of getting lost going hiking. How I move walk? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, it's still somewhere around here. But if we follow the road... No, 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 okay, maybe... Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, the road becomes sand over here? Is this a desert? I guess it is. Surrounding obstacles before I can travel. I see, but there really is nothing, no indicator on this version of the map that the fortresses around there, right? Just gotta keep searching. 43 FPS, though. Escape the... A whoa? Dwarves. I've discovered a river. Low. Hail and well met. A frail monk. Chubby monk. Thin human monk. Okay, you guys are monks. Worthless. I thought you would be like the cool denizens of our fortress. <laughs> We're just monks chilling out. Tanking my FPS. 97, 90, okay, well, it's definitely going down. That's water? That doesn't look like water to me. But I suppose it is a brook.
Oh. Hmm. Is it because a brook has to do more water calculations than like a stream? And that's why it's chugging a little bit? <laughs> that, would make, that would make some sense, I feel like. Yes, apparently. Alright, we're gonna head back into the mountains. Somewhere here. It must be here somewhere. Okay. This is our mission. And if we can't find it, we'll just sleep in the wilderness again. And I'll probably end the stream once we sleep in the wilderness again. Oh god, I have to, I have to eat my... my brain. My reindeer brain. And my tears. I do like the environmental sounds changing when you like go into the mountain versus the the savannas and like the grasslands. That's cool. that I saw that thing moving running away it's a goat Are you tame a muscular mountain goat looks like you're just chilling out you're not tame or anything Okay, now let's get back on top of it here, and instead of galloping, just walk. Galloping, galloping. Oh, you're afraid. Is it please Man, you really can't see anything, huh? If only the fortress was, like, on the ground and not in a mountain. Well, I suppose that's what makes uh, fortresses so, you know, long-lasting, I guess? And now you're starting to move slow again. Okay, we're still in the same area. <clears throat> Is there another? Okay. No water here. Let's try up. Not just I don't want to have to deal with the water calculation lag. Maybe that's her best bet. Or I say up, but I mean north.
It's starting to slow down. More goats. Please let me drink water. Eat. Uh, drink water. Drink water. Man, we're never gonna get to the that necromancer's tower. What the heck? There's a road here? Could perhaps the fortress be along this road? I feel like that wouldn't make much sense, but we might as well check it out. Oops. What is this? What is this road? Oh god. It's a good thing I'm writing it here. He would mur try to murder all of those yaks instantly. Still in the same spot, in the same block. It would be cool if... In the mysterious playful mountain. It would be nice if on this map as well you could get like um... When you hover over a site, it would tell you specifically which site it was. Like in the corner. Or like highlighted or something. What the hell? Where am I? Is it? No, it's not night. It's just sound effects. Okay. Couldn't follow the path for more than five minutes. Now we're moving off of it again. So many trees over here. You pick leaf, fell the tree, get peat, pull avocado wood branch. You should be able to pick fruit from trees, right? Do I have to like climb the tree to do that? Maybe? Hold on. This is a avocado tree. No, I want to climb it. Q. Uh, hold the tree trunk. I kind of climb. Uh, climb to thick branches. There we go. Pull, fill the trees. Northeast. Pick avocado leaf. Climb to tree twigs. Pick avocado leaves. Cool. Can't really get anything from here. E below. Below. Uh, let go, please. Cool. Yeah, I thought hmm, there would be like avocados on there. Which would have been nice to stave off starvation for a little bit. Fortunately, it was not to be. I'm gonna be so mad if I'm just wandering this like little non-mountainous area and then the fortress is over here just like in, in the plains under like next to a tree or something come on man where are you
Well, apparently not. I mean, we can travel, so like, hmm. Is it? Okay. Is it actually this? No significant structure, it says, but... But the FPS do be tanking, so... Under a hatch in the ground, why not kill and butcher a goat? Uh, if I could catch one, yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. I was fucking right here the whole goddamn time. I slept in the mountains for no reason. Hey, sorry, yeah, I'm just gonna, like, gallivant on in and grab your food and weapons and stuff. Hope you don't mind. Oh my god, it's so slow! Where's the door? Holy Christ, it's so slow. But yeah, I didn't- wait. Did I have- no, I had prepared food, so I couldn't try and cook it. I couldn't cook, uh, the leaves that I had. But you also just can't eat the leaves. As is. I'm trying so hard to move in a straight line right now. Really? No doors? Where the doors are gonna be. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Wow, it's just like playing fortress mode. That's a lot of people. Okay, um, there's a proper trade depot and everything. How do they build this place in the sand? Monk is no longer enraged. Wonderful. People are even trading here. Who is this? Greasy-haired human bone carver. Clothier. Human monk? Where is the, the guy? Where is the main man? Who can I speak to? To request, uh, what's the word? Aid and the like. What is this? Is this the church? Items an image of Onaf Stoke bothered the human and humans in Billion. Onaf Stoke bothered is surrounded by the humans. This relates to the election of Onaf Stoke bothered to position of holy mess of the Coven of Devils in the late summer of 198. Yeah, Coven of Devils sounds like a a real upstanding group. Sakur. Yes, Sakur. I need some of these dwarves to grant me Sakur. As I descend the Z levels here into, like, literal hell. Now what's going on here? These are all just- hello, I don't know who you are, but goodbye. Um, these are all just- oh my god, even through, like, the- the caverns? These are all just tiny little chapels. What's this? I'm Captain of the Guard. Greetings, my name is Cato Gloss Crystals. Praise be to Lollard Tome Ponder. I don't know who that is. But it looks like this is probably where the- aha, the fortress exists. Where's the food? Aha, here's your meeting hall. With statues of forgotten beasts, of dwarves, more forgotten beasts. No, we don't mind me as I- Jesus Christ, is this your stockpile? Uh, 
I will say it is quite nice that all of the walls are are smoothed out. They're not engraved though, so you know could be doing a little bit better there. This is the door to the same room I was probably just in. Yep. Oh god. This is a tunnel that probably leads to nowhere. Nope, they're doors. Imagine living in a one-tile-wide fortress. Like, look at this. This is absolutely unacceptable. Where the hell am I? What the fuck? It just keeps going! You said better be, like, bedrooms or something. Okay. <laughs> so, like, there's no fucking way... Oh my god. Completely inefficient. I mean, at the very least, I could, like, steal one of these beds to sleep in, right? Is this a bedroom? Or, yeah, you are. This is the way back. Hi. I don't know who you are, but hi. Cool. I don't know what this is. Must be a food stockpile somewhere, though. Ah, this is the treasure room. Very interesting. Perhaps I could make a name for myself by stealing some treasure. What is this? This, this layout does not make sense. Please. This is the same bit I was just... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> was this the only... Okay, yeah. Okay, is EP gonna sleep? Nice to catch you. Hope to see you again soon. Alright, I'll see you later, Isu. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a good one. Have a good rest. I should go to sleep soon also. <laughs> oh, this place goes even deeper, huh? Okay. Treasure room. Another treasure room. What's this? Oh god, where is anything? What does this room do? Seems like more storage. Or maybe it's an office, actually. This is a second treasure room. Another treasure room. But there's weaponry in here. Do I have a, a general layout of this? No, I don't. Cool. I just know that it's an underground fortress. And I move extremely slowly through every single doorway. Makes sense that I can't just phase through that statue, I suppose. Why are you following me, sir? I know you live here, but that's extremely rude. Wow, you just moved me out of the way? Can you tell me where the fine treasure- never mind. I need to find those stairs that go down again. Jesus. Here? No. No. One of these doors, maybe? Nope. This one? <laughs> to the right? There you are. What's down here, though? Probably the treasure room. Down. More statues. Mm -hmm. 
workshops. Wait, was one of these a kitchen? Probably not, no. Metalsmiths. I will say this, like, fort is not the worst design, though. It's substantial, unlike the, the little houses, the dirt houses. Aha! Look like butcher's shops or leather worker shops? Tanner shops. That's a lot. A lot of tanner shops, I feel like. down here. I don't know who spoke. Who is speaking to me. Okay, metal smith. Wherever the kitchen is, there's probably some food. Leather works. Maybe the kitchen's on a lower layer. Oh, jeez. The right... And down? There's nothing. Hmm. What if there's no food? Food workshops in this entire place. Okay, more leather, I think. Tanners? There's a door. Please lead me to, like, stairs or something. Fuck. <laughs> I keep coming back to the, le the, the metalsmith's shops. And all the forges. God, what are you? What could you possibly be? You're this. Okay, great. How am I going to get out of this place, also? More metalsmiths. Great. Door. Uh, okay, clothing shops. Also, how come all the doors are on the dwarves are on the surface and not actually making things? Oh my god. We found more stairs. But that's I guess they go up, so that's good. Why are there so many metalsmiths? There's no way you have that many metalsmiths. What the fuck? That's nine forges! Are you serious? There are like 15 forges in this fortress. Where am I? What is this? Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is horrendous. You know what? I'm gonna stand by these stairs and save and quit. I think that's where we <laughs> that's where we uh, save and return to title menu. Yeah. I think that's where we call our adventure for now. Save to this timeline. Save to new timeline. Well, let's save to this timeline. Yeah. I mean, dwarves. Yes, but still. Like, 15? <laughs> Why would you even have 15 metalsmiths in one fort? Like, <laughs> that's crazy. They're not even using them. They're all just chilling out on the surface. Uh, okay. Where's the music? Saving fortress information. What fortress? I don't have a fortress. <laughs> uh, 
man. All right, well, I learned a little bit, at the very least. I learned how to move around and do basic things, like travel, and beat things to death and sacrifice my companion. I hope the game did not freeze or something. That would be mighty sad. Advanced clear messages. Okay, there we go. Door Fortress. Okay, so with that, we will call it for today. Our intrepid explorer, dwarf explorer, uh, god, what was her name? If I continue the active game, will it tell me? Oops. Will it tell me my name? No, it will not. Okay. Anyway, we started, and we're 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 going we're going around something something toes, and we're gonna eventually find the stuff for that human necromancer, find those legendary weapons, and slay ten thousand goblins and demons, cast them back down to hell. But not today. <laughs> Today we spent five hours learning how to move, eating all our food, and killing our friend, our only friend. But with that, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out for such a long while. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit slow, a little bit chill. Uh, but that's, I guess, how it tends to be, learning something like this for the first time. Uh, when you don't really know what to do, it's a lot of experimentation. So... Uh, yeah, once again, thanks for coming, and I'll hopefully see you guys on Friday, for, or Friday, Saturday evening, when I do drawing stuff. Looks like we're going to continue holography, and we're going to draw Muna, or start drawing Muna. Um, but yeah, that's all I've really got to say, so thanks again, and I'll see you later. Bye, Hara. All right. <laughs> Bye, Hara Capmeister. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Have a good day, a night, evening, wherever you are, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.